we were supposed to have King Croc with us for a video this weekend, 24 hours homeless in Oakland. Yes. He missed his flight, didn't he, Leo? He sure did. It would have been nice to have an African-American gentleman with us in would, Oakland. Would have been safer, mm -hmm. more culturally sensitive. Plus, King Croc's just a damn fine fellow to travel with and make comedy with. He really is. He's funny and he's sweet. <laughs> but he got put in the clink. The slammer. Yeah, it's sad the to say. They, they, they shackled him. They it shackled is. him both in both his legs and his arms. And they brought him in. We should bring him in now because, as far as I understand, he has been released. I still have no idea what he was taken to jail for. I understand he's coming from L.A. County to our podcast couch at this moment. He's walking through the door. He's being escorted Come by bailiff mudflap. Let's bring in King Crocodile. Easy on our podcast host. Easy on him. Easy oh, on him. Oh, oh. It's a miracle that couch held up. I can see Austin Honestly. cringing. It's a lot of weight. It's, it's a, a lot, lot of weight. weight. That was combined near the weight of a Ford F-150. <laughs> Absolutely. Croc, he is free, though. The handcuffs have been taken off. Yeah, Did you just say I can't breathe? Yeah, honestly. Whoa. Say it into the mic. Say it into the mic. You better, and also, careful how you drop down on that couch, mud flap. It's this close. Mm -hmm. It's this close. I saw it give that time. You saw that? Leo was saying before we started that the couch was in duress. I, I thought he was full of shit. I, yeah. I saw it budge there. I'll have to reinforce Listen, it a little bit. It's okay. Yeah, we'll put some two by fours under there. Um, tell us. I don't know what to say, King Croc. I, a I'm, a, I'm a little... You, you, <laughs> no, it you, the, I can't breathe? <laughs> totally a skit, dude. What does it say on your, your jumpsuit there? Danny? Basically, what happened is I was getting processed. They gave me the wrong uniform. Okay. So they're it just writing They're just writing your crime on your uh, on your jumpsuits no, now, huh? No, not my crime. <laughs> I don't know. You sure? I mean, see... Okay, I'll be honest. Yeah. Not... There's different types of sex offenders. Uh-huh. Is there a good kind? There's a worse kind, right? I'll accept that. What's the best? What's the worst? Worst child rapist murderer. Hit me with the best, I suppose. That would probably be the worst. Louis C.K., maybe the, the best? And no real contact. Kind of disturbing, but, you know, come on. You can get over it. See, he's but. not even a real sex offender, though. But do they call him a sex offender? No. Oh, okay. Best sex offense, I know what it is now. Whipping out your cock to piss in public and an officer happening to drive by. Okay. Yeah, I mean, okay, okay, okay. okay. That's, what that's, about Jamie Foxx slapping a bitch with his penis? I think that's party. worse than urinating in public. In the 90s. Wait, it's what's so bad? Slap, what's, though. what's wrong yeah. with that? Yeah, right? That's, I mean, wait. that's definitely closer to... It's, it's not that close to, but it's closer to killing and raping a child than it is to peeing hmm. in a flower bed. Okay, but if you look at it just like with scientifically, like this is the same... It's probably more like, like that. <laughs> okay. It's what was more the of like a, Was she in his house drinking wine with him, or was she the checkout girl at Albertsons? I believe she was actually. Uh, I think it was she was behind register. I think it might have been Target, something like that. All right, and that's. Uh, I mean, if she's taking little... a while to make change, right? And if she's not giving you the proper discount when you pass the coupon, why not? If your penis is big enough to slap a bitch, I mean, really, I would just. You know, that's just impressive. At that point. Yeah. If you've got it, if yeah. your penis is like a gecko's tongue. <gasps> right. And you can just. <laughs> you yeah. Know? It's good. Maybe I'm thinking a chameleon. But or see, a frog. No, a gecko, a gecko even... I believe, does have the tongue that. Right? If you've got that kind of tongue, mm -hmm. then you should be smacking bitches with mm -hmm. your penis. I agree. Now, you didn't slap a bitch with your penis, did you? No, this is all a joke, man. I was. Honestly, what, what, what do you mean this is all a joke? No, I did go to prison. I was arrested. Okay. Even though this is a comedical. You went to prison or jail? I went to jail. I went to jail, not prison. I'm in jail. You were in jail for two days, three days? I think two days. You couldn't come on your flight to Oakland, California to film with us. Yeah, bro. It sucked, bro. I was, so, I was super hyped. Oh. So tell us what you can. The original crime and then also what they finally took you in for. Because I understand you missed a court date. That was why you actually were detained. But then something must have set up that court date, too. Can you talk about that or not? Mm, not at this time. Sure. No but problem. things are going very well mm -hmm. on that front. Like, things are going very well. But Good. the crime was me being served a warrant for literally sitting in my car being a black male. Huh. 
what were you doing in that car? Were you yeah, jerking off? Wow. Uh, I was trying to get at a bitch. Was it a... She was in the car currently with you? No, no, no. I was texting on the phone. I was okay. texting on oh, the phone. Oh, you were texting on the laid phone. Laid back in the driver's seat. I'm chilling, but this is my neighborhood. This I've, is my neighborhood. I, the way you said it at first, I thought you were, ye- you were maybe yelling at a hooker outside of your car no. getting at a bitch that's solicitation that's solicitation <laughs> no. that could get you i would never be soliciting that could get you popped buddy or know, also maybe stuff. police chief's daughter mm-hmm. all-american girl stunning mm-hmm. blonde hair down to her waist oh wow that doesn't look good no, when a police when the police roll by Yo. well rather it arouses contempt in their hearts of course they get angry good point the racist ones at least of course but you were texting in yeah. your car minding your own business and somebody pulled up yeah it was about 3 a.m. or something like that. Some white dude, Danny, that moved into the neighborhood, gentrified it, right? Oh, oh no. You he's are- there, oh, whoa, and he calls whoa. the police. Suspicious 6'4 black alpha male sitting in his car <laughs> doing nothing. And guess what? They roll up, and want to know the worst part? No, yeah. I'll, you, I'll hit you with this later. Uh-huh. You're going to fucking laugh at that later. The cops pull up. They check my ID. Boom. You got a warrant. I'm taking you in. Oh, so it was a warrant for Damn. a warrant. Okay. It was a warrant for missing my court date. Damn. That was it. That is. And then the bitch ass cops lied on me, too. Damn. They lied on me. That's why I don't I'm suck s- cock. I don't suck Whoa. blue. I don't I suck. I heard you do, though. Blue. What do you what do you call it? Lives. Blue, cops, lives, whatever the shit movement is. Blue cocks. You've never blown any no, cock. Listen, I'm talking about the movement. The blue live shit, mm-hmm. I don't fuck with it 100%. Time out. I'm Are, not going to cut. Okay, Danny, let's talk about this. Officers of the law. If you are me. outside of a woman's house, even if your cock was out and you were stroking it while texting, and somebody called the cops on you, yeah. they roll up on your ass with your sharp tongue. Yeah. If you had a warrant for uh-huh. something, you think you're going to jail that day or uh-huh. are you getting out of it? Uh, listen, Officer Smith, this is my girlfriend. Oh, that wart. Oh, blasted yeah. that wart. You know, my dad, uh, Gary S. Mullen, he's actually a superior court judge. Do you know his bailiff, Jim? Jim, yeah. He used to work down in District 7 around here in Bakersfield. I, I play softball guys, with Jim. Yeah, absolutely. You know, I just got to say, the disrespect you guys get in the press, it really sure gets do. my goat. We sure do. So listen, this girl, you know, forget her. Forget her. I actually, I think she went to a BLM march a couple of weeks ago. Oh, she did? Is that right? Oh, all right. Well, is that a, son. Is that, a, is that a 38 special? Oh, it sure is. It's my favorite gun. I clean it every day. You uh, you want to hold it? Yeah, absolutely. There it is. Wow, sir. I can tell by the way you filed down the sights that yeah. you're a hell of a shot. Oh, I go I go shooting at least three, four, five, six days a week sometimes. Wow. Yeah. How tight's your spread from 30 yards? Oh, I'd say I'm about a 47 uh, out of 50. That is pro level. Do you yeah. compete? I compete. Wow. How'd you know? Wow, yeah. you know your guns, don't you? In fact, you want to take a couple shots of that stop sign over there? Go ahead. Absolutely. Let, that, let it let it rip at that stop sign. Hey, hey. Uh-huh. If I get it through the zero, uh-huh. you let me go back to what I was doing outside this girl's window, huh? Sounds like sounds good to me. Go yeah, ahead. This son. Here, the, the, the O would stop. Go ahead. Bullseye. Oh, look at you. Well, I, I'm I'm proud of you, son. You can shoot like that, and you're you're good. Damn American. Uh, White privilege. Give my gun back, though. See, my buddy actually yeah. did that, that one is. time. Wow. Wait, one second, Bob. We're going to come back to you, but, but I got to hear Kid Croc. Oh, yeah. Was this at night or daytime? Uh, 3 a.m. in the morning. Okay, so that's a little... I mean, I have been, let me say, I have been pulled over randomly by cops in the middle of the night when I'm driving around. Mm. I have been right pulled now. over. Like, yeah, a, okay. anybody young <laughs> Pull, yeah. could get pulled over for no reason late at night. I thought this was, like, in the afternoon, um, which I was going to say is pretty gonna, fucked up. I'm going to tell you right I now. I was parked... On my block, dude. In well, my own neighborhood, I lived for 13 years. Interesting. Um, yeah, weird. But, but I mean, don't you? Never happened in 13 dude, years. Dude, I've, I've been pulled over. I remember driving home multiple times. I've been pulled over in the middle of the night for no reason. Yeah. Once in Vegas, I got pulled over just driving home from work. Dude, sometimes cops do that shit just to make sure that a guy who killed somebody in another state and who moved to Vegas or L.A. isn't Roman free. I don't hate it. Absolutely. Sure, sure. Look, they, sure. I mean, look, I. But the guy who called the cops, isn't that a little weird? You know, the person who called the cops, like, bro. You know what I mean? Like, 
You see somebody in their car and you call the cops? Like, well, you know, I mean, know. he's a cock. What, what kind of neighborhood pussy? is this? What pussy? kind of neighborhood is this? Is there gun Bro, violence? Is, is, are there break-ins or are there rapes? All right, somebody's car did get broken in this morning. Okay. But it's pretty, it's the nice part of Inglewood. You know what I mean? It's the gentrified part. It's, it's the, the gentrified stadium. part. Yeah. By uh, SoFi. Okay. Even better, than actually. Yeah. Okay. Dude. You get taken in for having no war. Do they cuff you right there? Cuff me right Excuse there. Excuse me, for having a ward. They cuff you. They cuff me, man. No leniency in any way. Then I go in, <clears throat> and they do some fucking weird shit. What? They write on my report that I want to kill myself. Whoa. Did you Not say Not even true. No. He didn't like the way I was answering his question because I'm literally distraught at this time. I'm distraught. Yeah. So I'm like, yo, I don't know what's going on and everything. He gets mad. I have 30 minutes left in my shift. Fuck you. Who said fuck you? This is the cop. Uh -huh. He throw, didn't actually say fuck you. You throw out the okay. Leon Danny show? I mean, that was, you should have thrown out the Leon Danny show. Well, well, I said he, I'm a star. I guess he would know you. He would you know, know the move, dude, is you've been in two Blue Lives Matter videos mm -hmm. up in San Francisco, yes? I go straight. I flip it. I've done it to the cops so many times, dude. Yeah. If you pull oh. that up and be like, sir, I'm a huge proponent of the police. Buddy. Dude, you got to suck cop dick. Yeah. The cops get That's around. all you have to Damn. do. And look, uh, you also had another fucking thing you could have done. You could have claimed, you could have said that you were a woman. <laughs> you could have said you were a woman. First and I'm and actually foremost. upset that you didn't do that because oh, isn't that everybody's dream here to just, hey, wait, 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 wait. Okay, you're going to arrest me right now, but I'm a woman. So. Yeah, I actually want to spend the next twelve hours with women uh -huh. in the in the drunk the drunk. What is it? They Think put you in it. the drunk tank, all right? They put like you six in the tank. six people oh, eight, with the AK, the or best more, singles more. bar ever. Right exactly, King you're gonna Croc be in the fucking <laughs> drunk tank, dude. <laughs> What Can you he, imagine King Croc with seven women to just run your game on all night? <laughs> Leo, what's dude, his favorite huh? strategy? Uh, awesome. Blocking, blocking the, exit? the exits. No Guess, need for that, dude. You fucked up royally, and I'm My actually very upset. It would be like an Damn. anaconda finding its way into a petting zoo. <laughs> <laughs> no pun intended, you know, it would probably be a black anaconda. anaconda. Boom. King Croc, that was your number one mistake. But seriously, mm -hmm. dude, what was your attitude like with the cops? And I absolutely understand that as a white dude, though I have been pulled over randomly, I think three times at night. I understand that the cops are going to look at you and think criminal quicker than they're going to look at me and think criminal. Totally f fair. I believe that's true. But yeah. how did you interact with the cop? Honestly? Respectful or disrespectfully? Expectantly in the sense that I have really such a positive view of officers uh -huh. up to a certain point. And I've done so many pro-police things, been in support of so many pro-police policies, I openly speak against wokeness, BLM, all that shit. They I'm can't the see any of that, though. So how did you uh, act to sure. the cop? I act like, yo, bro, you should be giving me some chill, bro, because hella other officers, you know how many times I've been stopped with no registration, nigga? This doesn't sound yeah, good. Okay. Seven times. Stop, they all stop. let me go because they cool. Let's backtrack so a little bit. what's wrong with you, I'm going to backtrack a little bit, and I think I'm going you know to tell you what happened because my Armenians extensively know about cop stuff. And Armin's broken this down for me before. Bro, I'm going to do it as Armin. Bro, when you say, when they pull you over, they are filming, bro. They're filming with their shit, bro. Huh? <laughs> with, and they're recording that shit. So as soon as they run your shit and they, it comes up in the system, they have a warrant, they require to arrest your ass, bro. Because it's in the system. It's film it, bro. They film it says warrant. Have to take you in, bro. They have oh, to, their hands are tied, bro. They have to take you in. Just like when you say, if you say, yes, I've been drinking and it's recorded, they have it. They, they then have to run. Even if you're like, I had one shot, I'm not drunk. They have to then run all the, uh, the tests, you know, it, it, it so like they you were, had to, re they were required to take you in, dude, that you could have, you couldn't have gotten sure, out of it. It's still, it sounds like you were a little standoffish with the officer. I want to point out. I don't know. I don't think so. I just, <laughs> I was like, bro, like. I literally live here, bro. Like, I'm like, just chill out. Why are you so? He's like, you're taking too long to get your ID. Uh, you're moving your hands too much. Get out the car. Grabs me, like, pulls me, like, and all this shit. I, Were you drinking at all? No. Be honest. I'm going to be honest. Five hours earlier, like, way earlier. A bottle bro. of tequila? How much? A little less than a bottle just of tequila. a little less? No, a lot more? less than a bottle of tequila. Okay. Mm -hmm. A couple shots. Okay. But, 
Look, I'm not. I did what I did. I understand. The second they run my number, mm -hmm. they got to do what they got to do, like Leo was saying. Mm -hmm. So I just kind of <laughs> wanted the process to be a little clear. And listen, I've seen the live league videos. I've seen the sheriffs release guys and be like, "Yo, you got a warrant on you. Got a warrant on you." I know this is really. I know you could have, you know, be, but just get this fixed. You know, and I've seen it on camera. I don't so know about a warrant, it, dude. I've seen it, bro. Look, for the no registration, they might let you go. But but this is this is why I always say college. You need college because he doesn't hit his deadlines, Danny. Registration, do it by fucking May 15th. He doesn't do it because he never had to do papers and turn them in. You know what I mean? On time. It teaches you that kind of discipline. You you should also know what you shouldn't miss your court date. That was another thing. Leo, why don't you Leo, yeah, you're really turning the college too much for everything. That's like saying you need to do a stint as a sailor in order to build a paper mache boat. <laughs> I actually do. You can learn you how to I, meet a deadline. I actually agree with that. You should. <laughs> yeah, if oh, yeah. you're gonna build the best paper mache boat okay. in the universe, yeah, you gotta be a, do you think you need time on the ocean, Danny? <laughs> Perhaps you need to be up in the crow's nest with a, yeah. a pair of binoculars. One hundred percent. You need a Fucking, run, you need to run the sheet or whatever the fuck. You know when they pull the thing and they put it, you know, and they yeah, pull yeah. it. I think the one's called a line, and then there's cleats. Uh -huh. We're we're putting together our our seamanship knowledge right here. It's not yeah. much. It's not well, much. Dude. It sucks. It's pretty bad. I've seen a couple of movies. I don't want to the forget jig. The there's worst. the jig too. There's something called the jig. The jig. What's you mean the break? The, the brig? The brig. God damn it. The jig, it, first of all, is a racial slur. Hey, whoa, you, were, dance. you were looking whoa, at me whoa, when whoa. you said that, I didn't that, say Leo. anything. <laughs> you were I looking didn't at mean me when to you say said anything that. racist when I said jig there. The brig. That's what I okay, wanted to put Seaman Bowen in when we were down in Texas. Okay. He deserves some time in the brig. Seaman Bowen, piece of shit. Yeah. King, you, I think you might have been a little too standoffish with the officer. Doesn't okay. matter. I'll it happened. What happens when they take you to jail? Unfortunately, the men's jail, because you didn't take Leo's advice. Yeah. Dude, it is the worst conditions I've ever seen in a jail. Wow. What? Which one? Yeah, which, uh, Los Angeles County Jail. Downtown. Uh, shout out Mozzie. Shout out Mozzie's homie, little homie. If you're listening, Mozzie, what up? What? He's, a big, right. he's, a, he's from your town, big rapper, cool guy. All right, Yo, cool. Mozzie, up in Stasi. Find what? us. Was that good? Dude. That was good. They locked us in the showers for 10 hours. What? 50 men. Is this a uh, LA no County toilets. or Auschwitz? Dude, that's not true. Are you serious? Yes, I'm dead serious. And this is bro. the main jail downtown Los Angeles. Hey, that's yes. crazy. They put you in there for 10 hours with People no were sleeping on the dirty, disgusting shower, shower floor. 10 hours. Did they give you their heads on the ground? Did they like give slaves. you Did they give you any uh, a t uh, like a pad to sleep on anything like that? You're supposed to go to through a process called um booking or whatever where yeah, you get your housing but you go through a whole process they move you from pot like holding cell to holding cell over and over and over basically there were guys waiting 10 to 14 days to be housed that means you get into the jail you don't even get your own bed you're sleeping in chairs next to other men on disgusting so surfaces were you worried that was going to be you yes up to 10 to 14 days but I'm like bro wow. Here's the crazy part. I was released four hours later after I was arrested. Well, or maybe it, like seven hours later. They th knew it wasn't Released serious. from the court. It wasn't serious at all. Boom, come back next month. You're good, buddy. Wait, I thought you were in jail for multiple days. The court released me, but the bitch-ass cop that, ro that wrote that I wanted to kill myself oh. locked me in the system and forced me to go downtown to get psychologically evaluated. Wait, why did I think you were going to kill yourself? Were you listening to Dashboard Confessional? <laughs> no. Jeez, I mean, the story is pretty wild. <laughs> I mean, it's like screaming fucking yeah, asshole, obviously. Because of the way, because basically I was com combative with him when I was talking about, yeah, when he kept asking out. me if I want to kill myself. He's like, all right, I'm taking that as a yes. Dude, that's you, yes. you got to like, suck cop dick, King Karak. I'm telling you. That's one thing that's. I'm that, tired of that shit, that's, bro. Dude, it helps, though. It'll save you time and King energy. Croc, it's, that's, it, think, think about it. Who Croc. enforces the tyranny, man? It's fucking cops. Dude, just think about it, I, though. And all the shoots, I, I get it. Honest, cops dude. can be fucking dicks and they can do things based on race and just based on them yeah. having a bad fucking day or thinking you're a hippie piece of shit. Maybe they look at mud flap and think that. But if. 
I mean, think about how many times I've been stopped by the cops in my videos mm. for doing like almost illegal stuff. And what do you mean? You did. You stole a sign, buddy, in Kansas. I can't sleep sometimes thinking that about is that. like the most minor thing I can think I was of. So fucked up, dude. Really I, that. I have. Pro- what do you think, Leo? Twenty brushes with the law since starting this channel. Yeah, I would say that's about the right. Mystery bit, bro. Dude, it's I, fun to get out. Yeah. of It's kind of fun to just be charming and get out of uh, you know a little interaction with the cops. You should look at it as an improv. It's fun. Yeah, dude, it's yeah, just, it just I can't look at it honestly because it always went well for me, man. Me and cops have always had a great relationship. Croc, I trust me, let me go. I, I understand where you're coming you know from. I, mean? I got pulled over one time with one of my buddies from Waterworld who was black and he was driving and we all had to get out of the car with our hands up. Damn, really? Yeah, that was, and this was what, 2018? Uh-huh. You know, things were a little different then. It was before BLM. So, you know, I think they definitely that, that was fucked up. And I, I didn't think it was uh, it was it wasn't a great experience, you know? But so I understand where what you're would coming you think from. about this situation. If those guys were both black as sin, black as darkness, what the, like the, the guys, right? the guys, the the cops being black, the cops, oh, the cops These are, are black, African ass niggas. The, they were the black? cops who pulled you over were black. Yes. All right. Why'd well, you tell us that asshole. Well, King Croc. That's a big fucking detail right. to, to, to be. So this was all your fault then, motherfucker. What it wasn't racist. So they weren't wasn't racist. racist. They were racist. You know what they're seeing every night? No, the cops. They're seeing a little crime every night, though, aren't they? They're they're cops. But don't you think what they're seeing every night? Since when did he become a Twitch employee? I don't know. It doesn't matter if they're black. They're cops. I know. Okay? They are evil. A cab. That's not what I'm saying. A cab. That's not what Jesus, I'm saying. Jesus, King Croc. Uh, King Croc. You made it sound like a dude with a porn stash no. and the last name of Anderson walked over to you. <laughs> Dude, we don't want to be, look, we don't want to be the, like these white men, even though I'm Latinx. I'm going to say, I'm going to go on the record right now. I like that you're I am Latinx. Uh-huh. <laughs> My favorite fake Mexican. Latinx. Dude. And I'm Irish, and I was discriminated against heavily 100 big years time. ago. Big time. Heavily. God, go, going the victim route is great. Dude. It's awesome, dude. It feels nice. Oh, my God. It was relaxing. just like, I was a get out of jail free card right there. I was like, dude, am, I'm kind of being racist right now. You know what? I'm Latinx. Wait up. Whoa. I, I'm good now. Yeah. Dude. I honestly think we should expose uh, uh, Los Angeles County Jail. ACLU came there, the reporter, because there were so many complaints. People, this is overpopulated. Was it mostly black people in the holding cell with you? Uh, Well, with me, specifically because I got to roll with my race, yeah. I think, Danny, you know what I had to What do you mean you got to roll with your race? You had a choice where you went? Jail's very segregated. No, well, okay, here's the thing. The cops, the cops know about the politics and shit. So they're like, if you roll with the blacks, go over here. You they say that out loud. Out straight up out loud, bro. I, I've been to jail for... Me banging Danny's been to jail. I've been to jail, been jail for a drunken fight, and at no point did I get the choice to hang out with my own race, because it would have been a lot better had I. But I mean, <laughs> I mean spending yeah. a night with Mexicans, not for me. I mean, never well, again. Blowing, blowing up the toilet? There's Just a kidding. system in the I'm process. Absolutely kidding. They, but wait, nobody Danny, you offered got, you, those Did you even get roughed up by the cops? The cops roughed me up when I was in jail. Yeah. The cops absolutely roughed me up. Mm. And there, there was no, I mean, we were in Davis, so it was basically all white people. But yeah, I tried to make a phone call to get my dad to get on the phone to come pick me up. And they, fu- they dude, they, arms behind my back, shoved my head down so it damn near smacked the floor and threw me into solitary confinement. Damn. That's why I think I'm at least one sixteenth black. I mean, after that experience, <laughs> uh, that does. I, I think it'll pop up in your twenty three and me. Your DNA would actually show that they smelled it on me, Leo. That's yeah. the only explanation. Yeah, King. So they gave you a choice where to go. Did they really, or are you just juicing up this story? No, no, no. This is at, at a certain point, right? So here's what happened: some shit. Somebody got knocked out. Or something. So I knocked out or so strangled. Do they have an? Or they ha- obviously have an overpopulation, like a not overpopulation issue, but there's too many people to put in cells, right? Way like, too many people, and they need to well, either cells are like, build. Smells like shit, and people are disgusting, yeah. bro. It's not like the, the valley. I've heard months. my buddy got a DUI like two months ago, and he said it was just like five guys in in like a pretty big cell, and they all had beds and blankets. They just had just a toilet. Well, right we're there. not even. I'm not even talking about when Sounds you get like your to dream a cell. Saturday night. This exactly. is before you get to a cell. That's how they're treating you. Well, and uh, mind you, this is right now. People are waiting ten to fourteen days to get a bed. Not if you were a woman, motherfucker. That's what you should have done. Remember okay. it for next time. Hope there is no next time. But you know, it's my people are going to go, and I'm fair. Okay, you know I mean? so th- you or in the holding cell, then you get released, but you have to go to a psychiatric evaluation facility, and which you're there means, for several days. Yes, which, no, 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 not a psychiatric, no, no, no. I got to go to county jail, Twin Towers. Or thanking Barador? 
I don't even know what that means. Lord of the Rings. I thought you were the nerd. <laughs> no, I didn't. Lord of the Rings is pretty cool. But I haven't, I haven't wow, watched dude, it all. it's so much. I should have said the World Trade Center because that's the Twin Towers. I'm thinking. <laughs> I'm thinking about the Two Towers. Mm-hmm. Keep going. Two Towers. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah. So. I'm in GP, bro. I'm I'm getting processed in county jails. Yeah. There's the psyche valve has not happened. They kept me in their custody and sent me to LA County Jail. It's not like oh we went to some psych. But no. Okay. Do you have a bed at that point when you go to LA? County? No, I never get a bed this whole time. Where do you? St- I was where, sleeping where, in the shower. How many hours were you sleeping in the shower for? I thought it was right. only seven. Only and they would let hours. you go. Ten hours. Oh, now it's ten. It was ten hours. I was sleeping in the shower. Before that, I was in a holding cell for I don't know how many hours. Then I was in another holding cell for I don't know how many hours. So now what? The it, first what? one was a little bigger. Second one was a little bigger, but smaller. Then it, they got pro- progressively smaller, uh-huh. and there's still a lot of people in so there. So it'd be like the order of our cocks if we go counterclockwise here. <laughs> exactly. And then they get sent into the showers, sure lock not. there like animals, and then they send us up to the final relay race to get a room. It's five activities you have to complete. I, in you're order making to get this a, up. <laughs> what is this? I swear to God, <laughs> bro, I, I mean, never lied. in what, Harry what, Potter? Yeah, what is this? We, <laughs> we have to find out if, if other people, if in, you're in the comments and you went to L.A. County Jail you know, and it was like this. Process, bro. You know Leo, what I mean? You got to pitch up. this to a producer, bro. They I know, this doesn't even sound real. I don't believe be like, this. Oh, my oh. God. Dude, the fucking Jewish guy sitting across the desk is going to be like, this is bullshit. The way you're making this. I'm sorry, I didn't mean No, no, I was just saying, like, if we pitched it as a movie. The guy just will not believe it. No, yeah, the producer just... Okay, nah. this is how it's going to work. My name is Officer Dean. Mm. Latino fellows over there. Blacks in the middle. <laughs> gays here. Yeah. And the Aryan Brotherhood over on the right. Each of you is going to strip down to your underpants and put one leg into a potato sack with a partner of your rival race. I guess <laughs> you will be friends for the next 15 minutes if you want shelter. <laughs> I'll watch the shit out of that. <laughs> Dude, maybe they're shooting a reality show or some shit. I've been seeing on my Facebook feed, there's this like gang <laughs> fucking jail reality show, bro. They're like, it's Jimmy. LA, dude. Yeah, like Jimmy got a face tattoo and tried to shank somebody. And it was like on there. And I was like, damn, I might watch this shit, you know? For sure, dude. Yeah, wouldn't you watch a jail it's, reality show? It's better than Gutsy with Hillary and Chelsea Clinton. That was nuts. We, watched a, we watched a trailer for fucking Hillary Clinton's new show that's going to be on Apple TV. It's out of control, man. Uh, Dino's going to love it. She has her own show. Dino's huh? really going to love it. <laughs> <Dino's gonna laughs> no, but uh, this doesn't we, uh, sound real. Oh, just a really quick aside, mm-hmm. Leo pointed out, and it's a very accurate observation, that Dino all of a sudden clearly made an effort to look handsome. I know. First time in probably a year and three months yeah. <laughs> and they were having a photo shoot with some chicks in the studio yeah. this weekend. It's bullshit. Isn't <laughs> I, it? I thought Mr. Uh, all I care about is God and getting money. Yeah. You care about pussy. Your yeah, haircut says so, well, asshole. Yes! And Austin too, like Danny. Shit. Austin During too. During the photo shoot, he got his haircut and shaved his face immediately after. That's because girls wouldn't even make eye contact with his sorry ass. He finally <laughs> was over it. Yeah, like, you know what, dude? It. It's oh, fuck, dude. It's man. like everybody can keep it up for a little bit until they're not getting pussy. Like exactly. the kid like i see recently i've seen a lot of kids going around to or trying to look like trans girls but you can tell they're not going all the way they're like the guy uh, who's just got his like legs in the hot tub they're not jumping into the water <laughs> yeah. and i know they're doing it for pussy but i know after like it backfiring four times in a row those guys are gonna lose the girl pants uh, shave their head and throw the jewelry in the garbage 100 percent danny and that's what's yeah. happening to dino right before ours but we gotta i mean this is a good thing because we need him to change a little bit for god's sakes yeah dude, but right austin now, also cleaned up austin also i want dude, to note that he also dino, cleaned up dino you were the guy at the fairfax swap meet who is trying to look femme to get pussy and it's not working dude, and, <laughs> and you finally gave in to your credit that fairfax dude that's you finally you see a lot of them there that's I'm what like, i saw yeah yeah that place is it's Should honestly I'm happy to never go to it again because me and you fucking demolish that place in a video. Dude. Oh, we get absolutely demolished. That'd be an easy off day video. Dude, we demolished the, the, the swap meets at over at LA City College, dude, dude. That was a great video, huh? Fucking done, dude. Did you watch that yet? Did you watch it in jail by chance with your homies, dude? You should have, dude. The Latinos would have loved it. <laughs> the Latinos, oh, dude. Okay, that's one thing that we have to make a note of. Yeah. For some reason, actually, I get, I get along I, with the Southsiders, bro. They love me, bro. Dude, the, the Latinos? Yeah. That's what I'm saying. They're huge fans of the Danny Mullen channel. We run in to so many Latinos. Yeah. You probably yeah. see this too, my well, friend. It's I get, ridiculous. I get little Mexican children, too. That's wow. Whoa. <laughs> that was the Spaniards, fuckers. We could explore that comment. That really makes me uncomfortable. The way you said that. <laughs> Look, all I'm saying is we have a massive Latino fan base. Danny has actually been talking about learning Spanish. I've been thinking Whoa. about it. Dude. Do it. 
Let's hear your best Spanish right now. Como, como se llama? Si, sí, señor. Tenemos de sondela. Un poco umbrella. <laughs> What's that? A little, a oh little umbrella? My God, yeah, un poco umbrella. A little bit umbrella. Uh, uh, umbrella is an English is an English word. It's uh, it's it's paragua in in, Sp in Spanish. That's one of the rare uh, exceptions. Like I used to always joke when I was an ignorant sixth grader that Spanish was just adding O to the end of a word. Or a, and, yeah. and after hearing Leo talk to a lot of people who speak Spanish in our videos, I'm starting to realize it's basically the truth. It's true. A rat is rata. Rata. That yeah. came up in our last video. Suspension on like Suspension. a golf cart. Suspension. Yeah. Rope is El Ropo. <laughs> right? No, rope is... Uh, <laughs> I, should, that's I pushed it know. too far. I should have stopped while I had two. I don't even know how to say rope. I'm retarded. It's all right. But, bro, I wanted to talk about how I got exposed Let's to talk. the black reality on the streets for the common man. Tell me about it. That gets arrested and goes to county jail. Tell me about it. Dude, you know who the most black people that I got saw, that I saw get beat up in county jail by? Which race? Other Latino. black people. Let's Other know. black people. Oh, okay. Other blacks. Straight up. Mm. Gang politics. Huh. And then it was so funny. So you were seeing one people dude, get beat? Yeah, I saw two. I saw two people get beat up. That sucks, what? dude. That'd and be the black the, the dude's like, yo, do that to your own people. Your own people. He just got fucked up. He just got bing, 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 bing. Stomped well, on, jumped on. Time out. What did he do? What did he do, King Croc? He was, he was, okay, the races were getting segregated mm -hmm. because some shit was popping off. And the police don't want to riot. They don't want people dying. They don't want to have to do a lot of work. So if they have to divide the races to stop a fight or something, then that's what they do. The blacks go with the blacks. You know, Hispanics go with the Hispanics. White goes with white, whatever. So they do that. And then this guy is complaining, angry that he hasn't got his medication. But the gang members are like, they're the reason that everyone's getting segregated because they're homies on the ground for some reason. And they're so like, these Yo. guys are homies all in the holding cell together. Yes. The crew of Crips. Okay. They, they got arrested. Probably shouldn't even say that. I'll, Did they get know, arrested all together or were <laughs> they just all like, oh, you're a Crip over in San Bernardino? Yeah, I'm in the Valley. Is no, that I probably how it just met in jail. Probably just met in jail. This is in jail. But they're getting processed. Okay. Who and Crips, and I guess Crips, it's like, it doesn't doesn't take much to be no, a it's, it's like it's, being a Christian. You just like say, Jesus. No, but, no, it's pretty serious. It's pretty they serious. They gotta do some crazy but how shit, are, right? So just hella people are Crips in the holding cell? There's different sects of shit. There's different like, um, like association hoods from people from certain different hoods or whatever. Okay. And then like, there's an overarching... Crip is like an overarching thing. Okay, like so blood they, is an overarching thing. It was a gang member who saw a guy from an opposing gang and beat the shit out of him? No, this is a, this is like a gang in the jail or like really guys that are riding tough together. Like this is a group. And this guy is disrespecting them by shouting his opinion when they're mad about something, basically. Like shit is popping off All and right. he's shouting his opinion, uh -huh. distracting the cops from example. what they want. Give me an example. I'm going to shout something. Dude. And then you you tell me something that would piss him off. <laughs> <laughs> motherfucker, this grilled cheese tastes like shit, motherfucker. Bro, the homie's on the ground, bro. What the fuck you talking about, bro? Hey, man, I'm just talking about grilled cheese, Boom. motherfucker. Niggas, niggas are already, niggas already be walking from behind you. You're still talking? You're still talking? Boom, he got swung off from the back. Then oh, You hey, couldn't even complain about your lunch, dude? What no, because, because, because it was obvious that some shit was going down. Did you get fed? Hey, Check, no, before you we get, get beat fed, the fuck up. Check, King Croc, let me know. Would I have gotten beat up by the Crips if I was offering my opinion on things like this? Hey, you fellows with the blue headbands over yonder, you shouldn't be in here. Pull up your pants and with a little can do attitude, you can make it in this country. Oh my yeah. God. What would happen to him? You would get so fucked. Yeah, honestly, you wouldn't eat. All your shit would be gone. Mm -hmm. Just be getting fucked up. Honestly, but you would start, you would probably start rolling with the woods. What if they you say have about somebody, some big ass white nigga protecting It's not we be, it's we are. Your grammar is an abomination. What do people say about bullied. your boy? What do people say about my boy George Floyd in jail? I doubt they were talking about <laughs> George, <laughs> but maybe Why? I'm wrong. Why? Dude, Why wouldn't they talk about him? They just, I don't know. Nobody says anything about him? I don't think people thinking on that. Time. What if you called him? What if you just said like George Floyd is a bitch ass? You know, what would you? What would they? <laughs> yeah, I don't. Do you think people would even know. care? 
I, I'm just, <laughs> I, I think most probably wouldn't care. Probably most wouldn't, but if you're a white, they know. might. Then you'd have a problem. Yeah, then, it, then think, they'll take you like a race thing. Yeah. I don't know, man. I feel like I'd have a problem with it if somebody just said that. I'd be like, probably would. People in jail don't reason like. Guy's a legend, guy. dude. Yeah, dude. These guys like they do a lot of fucked up shit. George is a legend. <laughs> They're saying fuck. You're a big fan, Leo. I am. There's a mural right by my house. I I go by there and I touch it sometimes. I stand there and I look at it and I reflect. Do you kneel on it? No, <laughs> I don't, Danny. It's good. I'm just checking. It's just confusing because I get what you're saying. Like I would kneel during an anthem, not to George Floyd because that is the way they took him out. I'm well aware of that. Leo. I don't know if you're aware of that, but that's how he got taken out. Man. I was not under the impression he died of heart disease. No, I just go there, I meditate, I reflect. Okay. Or overdose. Yeah, he did overdose. But I was just so happy when I got out of jail, man. They finally, I got to the end of the process, how laborious it was and humiliating. They weigh you, tag you like a cow, put you on a machine. You go through a fucking, don't move, don't move. Like, bro, it's, it's really degrading as a human being. And the fact that LA, Los Angeles County Jail is abiding the current standard and treatment of their customers, which are the prison inmates. It's disgusting, and they should be shamed. And I'm glad the ACLU went there, and I hope to see that article coming out because the lady, honestly, she was being a little weird. I the guess she reporter? didn't like the piss smell. Yeah. Mm -hmm. did, you get, uh, did you get some time in front of the camera? There's no camera. She was just a journalist writing mm -hmm. shit down, talking to people. More importantly, did you get some time with the set? Nah. Uh, did she write down your phone number on that little notepad of hers? No, none of the, uh, none of the pro come on. One of the processing women, I know somebody. She couldn't stand there more than five minutes. That's how disgusting. Damn. Danny, that I'm, fucked up. I'm going to give you an example of a woman that would be working in the processing unit at the at L.A. County Jail, and you tell me if I'm wrong. It's it's a it's gu guaranteed going to be a Latina with maybe a neck tattoo. Long fingernails. Long fingernails, but a rocking little body. And a nice booty, and maybe even just big natural big lips. Thicky, 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 Think some thicky. thick Latinas have been working in there, buddy boy. Did you see any? So many. Did you oh, some, the, all the processing over girls. three, over three. Did you run sure. some through bulletproof glass game? No, 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 no. Because I said, bro, the homies told me so many stories. Bro, they be what? setting niggas up. Bro. No way. They be dude. doing. You can't. You dirty. can't say something like, "Hey, catch me on the other side, baby." Bro, the homie told me. This one bitch, this one officer, female officer was walking by. He said, damn. His homie said, he's telling me about how his friend said, damn, I can't, I can't hold it in or something like that. You got a fat ass. Well, that's terrible. <laughs> and then game. she was like, she was like, really? You want to feel it? He was like, yeah. She's like, slap it. No. Bow. Slaps it real good. She says, she smiles at him. Hits the red button. I think it was on the wall or this is on her up. shit. Straight up. Hits the red button. Beep, beep. Emergency. No. This nigga just sexually assaulted me. He never saw him again. He never saw him again. They came and took him, and he was there three years. For okay. three years, he never saw him again. King Croc, just because right now you have the aura of like a guy with a peg leg and one eye telling a C story. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I, I want to make sure that things are, are still going down a truthful path. Can we back up to the games they made you play to figure out how you were going to segregate? Yeah, yeah. We turned yeah, that, that into a insane. bit. This was insane. This was insane. But I forgot about that. Also, there would never there would never be a place where they could make contact with a woman. Like, there would just never be. In, during processing... They're never going to be in a place where they could slap an ass. No, no, no. That also, was they're prison. not going to be alone oh. with a woman. Oh, prison. Oh, that's different. That was, he was telling a story about what his homie, what happened to his homie in prison. This, this guy okay. was probably fucked up on Pruno and talking nonsense. Tell me about the game, though. The game of what? The segregation game or the sorting game. There's no sorting. You game. mentioned there was uh, there were challenges. Am I high? We did a bit on oh, this. Oh, I was yeah. exaggerating with the word challenges. Well, no, it's a thing, dude. You know what that. I meant was you got to get your X-rays, you got to get your vitals, you got to talk to the triage nurses, and then you got to talk to your medical doctor, and finally the psychological. Now he means like how like you know you and I are homies, but we yeah. couldn't we could not be roomed together in jail. A black guy and a white guy doesn't doesn't matter. Thank you. A Mexican so or a white know. guy. 
totally fine. Me- yeah, Mexican and white. They, Mexican, they ride, they ride Asian together. Asian and a white guy, totally fine. What about Mexican and blacks? I talked about this to Leo. Mm-hmm. Uh, the LA Times just had an article that like the, the highest cases, the most common case of workplace racial harassment is Latino on black now. Latinos have been talking really? hella shit to black people in the workplace, mostly at the warehouses over in the Inland Empire. Because they got the numbers, bro. Latinos? They got the numbers, yeah. Oh, they got more guys working. Yeah. <clears throat> but would a black... No, in little, general, would, gang politics. I'm talking about gangs. Oh, they This, this wasn't gangs. Of, this was workplace-related, non-gang affiliated. Still, would blacks, would a black and down. Latino work together in a jail cell, though? Uh, they could both be trustees, but there's a certain there's a certain politic. Like there's it's always a certain like, politic. Enlighten me. Does the does the kitchen? He's only gonna hire black guys. If a Mexican guy does the laundry, he's only gonna hire Mexican guys. Because you got to put on for your people, or else you're, you're getting packed Just out. How it goes. Packed out? Is that me fucked? I spent three days no, in jail myself. I, I thought packed out was definitely like like somebody putting a cock up your ass and <laughs> packing, no. your, packing your it shit. Oh, like why, why, why why it sounds like that's what it is. Why would so many niggas be saying that? In your shit. What's oh, that? Why would so many niggas be saying that? Oh, because I don't know. A thing called rape happens in jail no did you yes, get raped did you fucking happen. get raped no i didn't nobody did you get would packed even out, dare K-Croc? nobody K-Croc. would even dare nobody bro it was funny because i earned my respect how'd you do I, that i ran my chair maneuver right Absolutely. what i always did because i had one of the best spots i put my pb and j on my seat <laughs> when i want to walk somewhere else go to the bathroom go talk to a cop whatever it saves my spot I always come back to it. One time, this fool grabs my peanut butter and jelly, puts it in his pocket, and sits down. Yo, it's a white dude, right? Wood. I roll up. Hey, bro, that's my PB&J. That's my chair. He looks at me for a second like he's sizing me up. Sizing me up. Oh, gets up. My bad, bro. Oh, here. Oh, I didn't even know. Gets me, gets me. I sit on my chair. The rest of the time of there, the rest of my, the rest of the time of the, I was there, this one black dude always be telling me, "I got your seat, bro. I got your seat. Don't like, They had chairs. Bro, it was like respect. He was testing you, dude. Could you he was pick seeing up you're the chair? Something. Could, yeah, wait, he's up. probably seeing if I was a bitch or not. Yeah, exactly. Can you tell me like, he how knows exactly, I saved my seat? Can you pretend I'm the white guy who's like got your PB and J? Pretend I'm eating it just to make this a little more intense. Say what you said to the white guy. Hey, bro, yeah. that's my seat, and I had a PB and J where you're sitting. I hope that's not what's in your mouth right now, bro. It's in my mouth, and guess what's in your mouth? What you got on you right now, bro? What you got on you? Um, that was fucking stupid. Boom. That was disrespectful. Made a mom I'm joke. taking all his orange juice. All his <laughs> orange juice. You made a mom juice. joke. The guy, the guy might have done it. it just, you made you got, a mom joke at a six foot four, two hundred and seven. I realized it didn't man. make sense because King Croc said, "What? What's that in your mouth?" And I wanted it to be like, "What's in his mom's mouth?" But I realized it was going to take too many words to get mm. there. I'm sorry, Croc. <laughs> Dumb move on my part, but uh, congratulations for earning your respect in the in the joint, I dude. I, but the chair, that. dude. There's no, when did you have a chair? Because chairs, they could you pick them up? You're no, skeptical. These were, Leo. These were connected yes. metal chairs, bro. Connected metal chairs. Leo, you're kind of a upper class kind of guy. How, how many people you know dude. ever been to jail? Leo, be honest. I know a honest. lot of white guys who got DUIs. <laughs> <laughs> they never that is so white. Yeah, that, that is what white every white... Wa- I mean, the most powerful <laughs> attorney in Orange County has like 60 friends who have gone to jail for DUIs. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's the most uh, like high class thing to get arrested for is a DUI. Dude, one of my fucking... <laughs> Dude, what, know, man. probably my best black friend from high school though did go to jail for something so kind of stupid there he, he, he was when he was working at target he would charge up 200 dollars gift cards and just fucking take them and then use uh-huh. them then use them somewhere else you know uh-huh. i read uh, an article in business insider or something about a guy who worked at amazon who i believe he stole 13 million dollars or some figure in the millions by loading up amazon gift cards and then he was so good at tech he could make them get lost in the system so wow. that amazon couldn't track the funds 13 million something like he might have worked at microsoft i might be fudging wow. the details mm. because i can never remember anything i read but he was living in a lake house outside of seattle just wow. rich as shit off like a Hundred and fifty thousand dollar a year tech job. Wow! Because he was just stealing money through gift cards. That's crazy. But then, like basically all lives of crime, it came back to bite him in the ass, and now he's in jail. He should have changed his. He should change his identity, turn into a new person, like Cigar Guy. Guys, uh-huh. um, look, I have been experiencing. Um, cigar Guy doesn't have thirteen mil though. He's got his ass licked by a dude. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I've been true. I've been seeing just in the general community a lot more theft. Um, just even in people I know, just fucking everybody's like Amazon Fresh, just like 
they have just all Amazon like uh, like young kids running a store and there's an automated system and some of the people I know are just going in getting all their groceries and fucking rolling out with the cart not paying and I'm doing nobody that cares. You dude, stop! Don't do it. I'm just kidding. I would never. If you do though, get only top tier steaks. Crime, okay, just dude. fill it up. All dude, I've learned my lesson. Don't do that serious. shit, dude. No, it does. It'll it's catch up to you. Show. And the, the Target story, I've heard Target online. If you look this up. They get everybody that steals from them. Like a lot of people steal on the, you know, the, the self checkout. They apparently are known to log the video. And if you char- like one time buy like gum and then you have a bunch of stuff, they start tallying up what you've been, st- what you steal. And <clears throat> when it hits a serious amount where it's like $5,000, exactly. That they send that. They put a warrant out for your arrest, and uh-huh. they've done it. You can look it up. They do it all the time. Target's the best at it, apparently. Dude, but you don't know if Amazon's gonna. You know, True. you know your boy. You know that guy. Uh, Bezos is working on that right now. Yeah, he's got a for team sure. on it. Dude, he's don't got a team steal, on dude. it. Stealing. I know you're not gonna resonate with this mm, analogy too much, but to me, stealing is like doing heroin to get through the day or doing a line of coke in order to get some of your computer work done like that's if a I, great great way to look at I it i mean it'll fucking it'll help in the short yeah. term absolutely but it is not going to end well because Damn. what you're doing is you're just putting yourself on the opposite road than the road to success but if you had a play where you could make 6k a day no what Would that fuck? change your mind about that a little Abs- bit? Absolutely no, because not. then that's right. more jail time, dude, because it's more serious. Absolutely You're not. You're stealing 6000 a day? Because my peace of mind and happiness is important, and I couldn't be at peace knowing I could be arrested at any time. Doing significant jail time is never worth finances to me or any amount of money. And um, also, uh, I mean, you're not building anything that's sustainable. Like, how long that. can you be a professional thief? Whereas if you're doing something honest, you're working closer to the end goal, which is financial independence by legitimate means. I am growing older. I'm not going to be able to hold my sugar mama very much longer. Don't okay. say that. He's we already down to Postmates. I'm only down to Postmates now, guys. That's all she gives him, the Postmates account. Just the Postmates. There's no money. And he has to fuck her now, for real. <laughs> and make eye contact. I have to have sex with her missionary. <sighs> no condom. Oh, you only use that to get a blowjob. She's trying to have a baby with him. I'm a missionary now. You know what that's doing yeah, to my psyche? Yeah. Why'd you say that? <laughs> I as an anchorman. Uh, yeah. I just I just went back it's there. Drunk for a Will Ferrell and anchor man. <laughs> I don't feel good right now, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Every morning I get here three hours early and sexually assault a starfish. <laughs> Milk was a bad choice. Yeah. Uh, no, but seriously, I, I dude, taking the easy route in any way in life, yeah, it, it'll fuck right. you and. uh Look, for me, even, you know, my mental health, I mean, Adam 22 has been talking about it, apparently. But yeah, <laughs> being good looking and, and getting a sugar mama, I, th- was, I thought it was a great idea. And guess what? It made me lazy. Mm. It made me content. It made me just want to eat sushi and order $30 acai bowls and fuck pussy. <laughs> and that's it. Sounds good, honestly, yeah. still. Still sounds yeah. pretty fucking good. I would look at it as <laughs> yeah. a challenge. Dude, you could have your sugar mama sending you billions Stop! But uh, I would have to get that. I would have to get Bezos's wife, who I DM'd, yeah. who I DM'd. <laughs> yeah. but Did we see the DM? Can we what What's her name? Yeah, we gotta see this. What's her name? I heard Mackenzie. You would literally Mackenzie get Mackenzie Scott. Maybe it was bro. Bill Gates's wife that I DM'd. I think it was Bill Gates. Either wife. one's Melissa? a good choice. What's, at this uh, point. what's Bill Gates? They're wife? both newly divorced. I don't know. What's Melissa Gates. I'm Melissa. not sure. I think I, I, I don't DM know. Melissa. I don't know. Let me see. Melissa. I heard Melinda was. Come on. Is it Melinda no Gates? Melissa I don't know Bill Gates' wife's name. I just made up Melissa. What is the yeah, asshole? I was looking up a Melissa Gates. I was like, I think this is her. What's Bill Gates' wife's name? Austin, Melinda. Melinda. Yeah. Melinda. Mo- Some stupid Linda lady. Melinda Gates. <laughs> it is Melinda. <laughs> He's right. Melinda oh. Gates. I think I said Melissa, right? I was close. close. Melinda French Gates. All right. We got to see there this. There we go. Let's see. And this, If it's inappropriate, I don't care. You're handing me the phone. All right. I said, uh, I no, no, no. It's just two lines. Let me read it. I'm reading right. it. There it is. <laughs> Here we go. From Leo. Listen, comma. Wow. That is a power move to open with listen. <laughs> listen, I'd love to take you out on a date. I'll even pick up the check. LOL. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see this. 
Leo. I tried, boys. Leo. I that's pretty good. I, I, that's pretty funny. I need that's, funny. that's kind of funny. She didn't respond to it. I don't think she's going to respond to anyone. That's pretty good, though. I mean, shout out to the teacher that bagged her, though. She's Honestly, following. Yeah, the teacher is the biggest. Dude, we should have right? the pod, dude. And she's following. Like, shout out to that she's guy. following Phoebe Gates. This is a gate who goes wow. to Stanford University. Okay, who I'm smoke. Jamming her. I'm <laughs> yeah. jamming her right now. Oh, Leo oh, didn't even God. let me finish the sentence before he was preparing to send the camera. Guys, Phoebe Gates, guys. Whoa. Oh, Melinda gosh. Gates. Would be such a score for you, Leo. Are you kidding me, That'd dude? Be awesome, bro. I would. <laughs> now, what if she was down with the channel too, and I just like she'd be just, I'd be just naked at her house and be like, "Come on in, boys." <laughs> I'm just. <laughs> you blur my cock out. And we go around the house. You're like, "What do you do every day?" I'm like, "I don't know. I just kind of look at the view, Danny. Just check this out. This house is worth forty eight million. Uh-huh. She just, it's one of her houses. I just kind of live here. Brando has a throne room. <laughs> <laughs> Brando has a throne room. His dude. throne is made from the skeletons. Of dead mice. <laughs> yep. Yep. Yeah, man. And, I tried. Uh, and maybe it's it's also got some uh, of the pussy hair of women's or Leo's sexual conquest woven woven into it too. Oh yeah. You can't talk right now. That's that would be great for you, dude. I, I love the idea of you dating a billionaire uh-huh. uh, divorcee. I it love would be you. nice. It would be nice. Yeah. I, I, I think it's very attainable too. I think, I think you so. need to get on. Forbes.com and just look at the list of billionaires. All of them. All of them, dude. And find the one that I could infiltrate. I think it'd, it'd have to be in person. I'd have to be wearing a suit at a bar, have my hair down. and. Be like, I disagree, oh, dude. Melissa? I think Melinda you got gets. this. Or hey, just Melinda. bang everyone she knows. I think, dude, uh, that works too. All of her friends are bound to be powerful women. That's but true. Leo, you just need to get in like... Get to her. You know what you need to do? You need uh, there's a magazine I picked up once at Adam Foo's place in Vegas called High Rise Living. Wow. And all of the articles were just by rich housewife bitches whose husbands were like the best at whatever thing it was they did. Hmm. Because the rich housewife bitches are the only ones who have the time to write freelance articles about seasonal table settings. I say yeah. you get one of those magazines, Leo, or similar magazines, and you just unleash an artillery barrage of sex unlike any ever witnessed on this planet. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Till I get one. You know, it's not a bad idea, Danny. I think I might work on that. That's what I'm here for, dude. Thank you. King Croc, you do the same thing. King Croc, uh, Honestly, yeah, dude, my in, on the Patreon, on my Patreon, I had a video called Become a Fantasy. So I think you got to be a Jack Black, dude. Yeah, that is a fantasy there, with yeah. a giant cock. That's like one of the biggest female fantasies. You gotta, you gotta get there. You gotta be a Jack Black guy with a big cock. Croc. Oh, how are you gonna it's get the big sick. cock, dude? <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait to reveal the BBC once again. Honestly, like I'm in such anticipation because I want to really slang it good, and I definitely gotta. Me and Kazuma, we gotta make some more content because, like. I got to prove myself. I heard obviously. you said it wasn't big. I heard that this morning at No Jumper, and I immediately disputed it. Not on air, sorry. But it's bullshit. I watched you with your cock out getting jerked off, and your cock looked big when she was giving you a hand job. Dude, it's definitely bigger than average, even 50%. To Dude, keep it was up. big. I mean, she was using both hands easily on your dick while it wasn't hard. Now, the one, one, if she's on. saying King Croc's dick is small, would you be like afraid to get a hand job from Kazumi? I would be a little less afraid because I'm white mm. and inherently my expectations are lower. Okay? okay. My expectations for what I'm going to do with 40 or lower, <laughs> probably going to be over five and yeah, then yeah. under five with my penis. All right. Great. There Let we go. Feel. Over five, under five. That's a white man's life right there. hundred percent. Over five. Oh no, wait, over five, under five. It's going to take me more than five seconds to run a 40 yard dash. Mm-hmm. And my dick is less than five inches long. That's it. But it's fine. Five and five, dude. But your dick isn't less than five inches. Don't don't let don't say that on the don't record. Sell all right, short. Yeah, don't sell yourself short. Literally, yes. Stop. Yeah, no I, negative I, self I talk, boys. Homo, no homo, but Danny sells himself short a lot in that department. He well, really you does. have to say that because I beat you in a penis showing contest. Some bitch. <laughs> Only because every hundred pounds overweight, you Lo- it's, no, how no, much? It's every That's sixty pounds. I, I think it's less you lose than one inch. Really? I'm yeah. telling you. I swear to God. <laughs> That's bro, true. I swear to God. I'm down true. about three inches. I've literally I've gained a hundred and I gained like hundred and twenty pounds or like hundred <laughs> hundred ten to hundred twenty pounds. I know the difference. And I've lost like 60 pounds. You should do a weight loss 80. competition. With like How much weight have you lost? I, mean, no, I was smoky, bro. White's first know. blast. Oh, oh, yeah? I was smoky. Wait, how much you weighing right I got, now? I got, more, I got more to lose. If I really tried it, she could fall off. You know, it depends what the Let's do it. Are. Let's fucking well, do oh, it. Man. I will shame both of you into the grave. <laughs> this will be easy to motivate. You got to give them a prize. All right, what do you think? Two months from now? What do you think? Is two months good? 
Two months. For sure. Two months, whoever loses the most weight gets. Ooh. We talked to Kazumi. Kazumi does full on penetration with them. Jesus, really? Some bad. Nah. All right. Nah, what? I wouldn't want to do it that way. What you do you lose mean? The, you lose the most know. weight, you're a fucking porn star, boys. And you can uh, have sex with a hot Asian chick. Nah. Like, what? I, I would love to do it, but that's not really the setting. I'm a businessman. I don't know if I can be fucking porn star. You don't, yeah, you don't want to be jacked at what? Business man. Actually, no. Businessmen fuck porn stars all the time. Fuck it. And yeah. also, mud yeah, mud flap, quit acting sure. like you haven't been drenched in sweat in San Francisco in a blackout, <laughs> uh, screaming at tables full of people on camera. Once or twice? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so good. Well, boys, I think that is a competition that would be good. That is a kind of a way to kick off a I'm diet. Some I say we got to both contest. be officially weighted. Weighed. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh, as a doctor or stop. something. Or Make the same skin. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. <laughs> a truck stop. <laughs> you are gonna, that's funny. Wow, man. That's pretty funny. So I just got that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, let's do it. Like, fucking, and loser has to, like, I don't know, strip the... Loser, oh, no, that's bad. No, no, winner gets Win. a cash prize. <laughs> sure, we can do a cash prize. Are you all right, dude? Bless smoking, you, man. Smoking yeah. the fuck up in the morning been, or what? My, uh, my throat's a little sore from a weekend, more than a weekend of gnarly filming. What can right. I say? Liberal University Part 2. And, oh, my uh, God, boys. And raiding Oakland or 24 hours homeless in Oakland. What was that? Did you say something about me sucking dick? <laughs> Dino, what are those drinks up there? Those cans. I don't know. Uh, like lemonade shit. Can I get one of those, dude? Yeah. I need some refreshment. If it's lemonade, I'll drink it. But I'm, if it's got caffeine, I probably can't do it. Dude, we got, no we got chips and crackers and salami. And, I got whiskey. And, and little fruit it's squares. Nice. We got everything. Man. Is it caffeinated? No. It, I'll look at it, Dino. Actually, it's oh, black no. tea. It might be very lightly caffeinated. Bring it over here. Should be a pussy. Danny's turning into cigar guy. <laughs> I am. I need everything I drink to be sealed. It's got a lot of sugar, that's for iced sure. Iced tea. Yes, it does. Holy shit, 17 grams. Water, high fructose corn syrup. Yeah, it's this actually is a light one. Dino, 70 can calories water? per can. Pretty unhealthy. Thank you so you much. Know. Just a water would be great. Dude. If it was sealed and... Oh, no, there we go. We got disposable cups now. We don't have Austin spit shining a uh, solo. <laughs> yeah, I got new cups. <laughs> um, <An> old solo <laughs> cup. Man, King Croc, we missed you up in Oakland, man, but we met some cool-ass motherfuckers. That You'll see in the video. Ass. Yes. Oh, yeah. Really unbelievable. Crazy videos both, I yeah. think. Yeah. yeah, it was great. And oh, we yeah. can talk about this because it's not going to factor too much in the video, but... Shout out to UC Berkeley. Mm -hmm. There, I don't think, is a place on earth with a higher concentration of fans of the channel and the podcast. Damn. It was crazy, man. Wow. Like, just everywhere we went. Really unexpected. Yeah. All over campus, we were getting stopped. Very smart kids, too. And then one fraternity, probably a full quarter of the kids in the fraternity, were hardcore fans. Yeah. Shout out uh, Tau, T Kappa, T Tau Kappa Epsilon. Yeah. Derek Ta just threw blood up into the camera. And well, he's a gangsta what? gangsta. He... <laughs> Oh, frats love the Danny Mullen channel. Like I was, at, I was doing a, a a video one time in Flagstaff, and I was just getting some beer, getting back in my car from a hundred yards away. I hear mud flap. Nice. And just yeah, I became an honorary Fiji for the day. I guess. Oh nice. yeah, That's okay. sick. Fiji was. Uh, Invited us over. One guy was a fan there, but then TK had like a multiple, so we went to TK. Tau Kappa Epsilon, huge fans, fans of the pod too. And then when we walked down Frat Row, like men and women alike were calling out to us. Yeah, it was wild. It's it's a huge concentration of fans. We thought it was all going to be a bunch of liberal pussies. It wasn't actually. We oh, actually, awesome. the focus of the video was more on the events surrounding campus. Mm -hmm. Like this hobo park that's... I mean, it's basically a war zone right now between hobos, motivated community members, and the police right on Berkeley's campus. Huh. With they're trying to basically kick all the bums, all the a lot of these bums are fucking assholes too. We had direct encounters with them. The police mm -hmm. would kindly like them to leave so that the university can develop low income student housing on this lot. Mm -hmm. And the bums and stu community members have repelled police advances and smashed millions of dollars worth of construction equipment, not letting them in. So it's like a serious battleground here. And that became the focus of the video. We met one legend. Oh, oh my God. Lizard King, who the fans, I know they're going to go crazy for. This I guy's mean, amazing. He's going to be the next Rat Dick Ralph, dude. Mm -hmm. He's going to be, he's going to be that level of a superstar. Tell me about him, man. He's a lot like Rat Dick Ralph should have been. Yeah. Uh, he was stone beach hippie. 
version. Peaceful. Uh, which was his original Instagram. He's very peaceful. He's very positive, And he's uh, just down to, to help the cause, man. Looks like Rat Dick Ralph. Same haircut. Mm-hmm. Huh. Does just as much acid. <laughs> I gave him, I was just giving him money throughout the day. And he, he immediately spent all of it on acid. It's and, unfortunate. And put it all in one palm and shoveled into his mouth. Well, this park yeah. that he was living at People's oh, Park. Sh- and it, it had a kitchen. So he didn't have any anxiety about buying food or anything. They had food everywhere. All of them see, seem well fed. So he was just uh, focusing on buying acid. And he did. <laughs> that was his thing. Taking acid. It's going to be a great video, though. Shout out to everybody up there. Lizard King. Lizard Shout King. Shout out to Lizard King. And, um, he doesn't have an Instagram or a phone. He really... I, or I, a I, phone! I had a theory that he was from the, the past. He was a, a time traveler. And he said, oh, it's possible I did so much acid that I traveled through time. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, yeah, he's a great kid. We also met this other kid, Henny, who was awesome. Who was the yeah. uh, one of the only Berkeley kind of uh, you know the frats and stuff. They were they were down to hang out with us, but uh, being in a video is kind of a crazy thing to do if you're a Berkeley. Yeah, this kid Henny just went for it. Yeah, us. but we have a kid Henny who said, "Fuck it." He he's might there. never get a job based on what he did. Yeah, but anything else we want to talk about? I know we want to talk about um, not football season coming up, but another sport we all know and adore is back. And I feel like we're all tingling with anticipation. Better than ever? What is it? Yeah. It's, dude, I feel like somebody should have brought the guacamole dip. Oh, shit. I I feel like we need some lays. We need some beers. Mm -hmm. We need to get our fantasies. Who are you starting in fantasy for this game? I got Tyronicus the third. (laughs) Tyronicus? <laughs> I've been on the block with the He's, Yeah, I like him. He only has one name. I love <laughs> that amount of different. <laughs> Is he, yeah. Did he, um, was he an, an emperor back in Rome? No, no. Was he no, the no. first was... black emperor? It sounds like it. His parents uh, just, they, or did he legally get his last name removed or was it just like. That's just his name, bro. It's he wasn't like born with the last name. So like silky. Name. You know what I'm saying? Leo, who do you got? Who's your starter? Um, yeah, my starter? Yeah. It's, uh, it's actually a. Uh, Fern Gully the third. So bad, dude. I don't know what happened there. That was just, I just, I don't know. The King Croc threw me off with Fern Gully. Oh, it was God. weird. Like Tyrone, a kiss. I get what he was going to go with a black dude, mm-hmm. but then the, a kiss. Mm-hmm. Like I, got one with Fern. I don't know. <laughs> I don't even know what a Fern Gully is, dude. But it's first name Fern, last name Gully. Gully. I thought that was a real Ferns, thing. I, guess, like, okay. I don't really know what a gully is. Can you look up what a gully is? Ship. G-U-L-L. A ship, I, think. I think it's a geographical feature. Oh, maybe it is. Actually. A Fern Gully. Like a trench? It's a... Uh, a ravine formed by the action of water. There we Danny. go. Oh, it's a yeah. fern gully. Okay, a fern. That's a gully. But oh, um, I mean, more important than the NFL, more important than any major league sport is. Mm-hmm. Hey, good boys, the knockout game is back stateside. Fuck hey, yes, yeah. dude, knockout go. game. Been waiting all year. Oh, for this dude, shit. I don't know if you guys know what it is. Let's but, watch it. Let's watch yeah. some old highlights. We're gonna watch some highlights from 2013. Sickening game playing out on the streets of cities across America with dangerous results. Criminals taking aim at innocent victims, aiming to knock them out with a sucker Ooh. punch. Lawmakers this guy was and civil MVP rights right leaders here. with a new push this so morning to up, try man. to stop this disturbing behavior before somebody else gets hurt or even killed. ABC's Rob Nelson is here with details. Rob, Press good morning. Pause. Good morning. Is this a, Dude, that, that guy got This lead. guy right here, let it play again real quick. Yeah, this is this your draft pick? Uh, no, this, this guy was already MVP. Oh, no knock- he just signed a $30 million contract with back Makers and civil no rights way. leaders with a new push this morning to try to stop this disturbing behavior. Press pause. Really backwards, huh? Else. Any backwards, huh? Yeah, one of the guys got Mickey's, dude. Oh, really? He's one of the guys master. got Mickey's, really? I know, I think one of them got F FUBU, actually. It's wild. <laughs> yeah. One big. of them signed like a ten million dollar contract with Food. It's <laughs> fucked up. It's not. This uh, is we're this joking. Joke. This is obviously yeah, this is, so yeah. so awful. But Backwoods and Mickey's, Foo-boo. dude. Was that bad? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Fuck that's, you, dude. Come on, man. That's hilarious. Was that? I mean, <laughs> that's funny. What do you? I mean, what do you want me to say? Tiffany's and Rolex. <laughs> mm. Oh no. Backwoods would probably Press play. Sign. I think they would press sign. play here on the, the new trend. one. The new Often one. The new one. The fucking knockout game is scary as shit, it's man. It's so terrifying. Yeah, I hope that it never, in, and none of us encounter it. So, watch you your know. six, folks. Oh, no. These are new clips we're watching of the knockout game, which has resurfaced in New York City. Oh, no. It's, it really is terrifying. For people who are just listening, the game consists of just walking up to strangers and KOing them with a punch. We is this t- in the background? What's going on? It's Where's- had a resurgence, oh, shit, too. Dude, he's walking in. Dude's walking in. Oh, this looks shady. Oh, she gone. Wait, this doesn't look like the knockout game. What is this? Same red hair 
This was just a fight, dude. This is oh, yeah, what no, are you doing, Austin? Austin? Uh, I don't know. Wasn't this the brazen knockout you're game right back in you're right yeah the the video shifted let me try just refreshing yeah. it let's see tell way they started it with the knockout the brazen knockout game was down but clearly not okay, out. yeah, yeah. That's the right one you see I that can't, the, the, the fucking post oh, sucks. you think my backwoods joke was bad that look at that dude <laughs> <laughs> so a chick is playing dude Wow, dude, Title IX has made its way to the knockout game, too. That's great, you know, because uh, they should be represented equally to the male sports. <laughs> I mean, clearly, Leo, she can throw a punch better than almost every man. I've she seen. literally, literally the front, the first step she took was equivalent to Deontay Wilder's first step. Wow. It's honestly unbelievable. If we look up Deontay Wilder highlights, you don't have to anymore. Because Is it a boxer? This check. He's a he's the, yeah, the craziest. You see a lot of the same footwork there? Oh, the exact same footwork, Danny. You can you can look at it. You can see it for yourself. Take that, it's misogynists. Nuts. Yeah, then, seriously. You don't think that a woman could <coughs> throw a fucking right hand that could knock over a house like Deontay Wilder? We're bet you fucking you saw it right there first hand on video. And this <laughs> looks. We're looking at another clip of the knockout game right now. I see a guy who is. This guy oh. looks Latino or white. So I take back the comment I made about backwoods. I take that back completely. This guy, no, that's the guy that got punched, Danny. <laughs> the guy looks white who's standing up right there. That looks like Louis C.K. Oh, no, wait a second. This is the guy. This is the bad guy. Convicted sex fiend, Boo Von Fu. I'm not uh, sure what the hell that is. 55. His name is Sucker Boo punched Von man. Fu? This is made up, dude. There's no Bui. Bui Von Fu. Bui Von Fu, bro? He just totally made Asian. that up. And the cops are like, what is it? <laughs> okay. Is he Asian? Is his Bui name looks high or something. Dude, this guy knocked somebody out. With, honestly, the guy that fucking got knocked out, honestly, you got to fucking put the shoulder up, motherfucker. Look, he, Leo, you know what I mean? he's walking the other direction. I don't care. Fucking learn some defense. Leo, you expect everybody on the streets Very of boring. New York to be in the Philly shell at all hours of the day? Honestly, <laughs> if you live in New York, yes, you should be in the Philly shell 24 hours a day. Leo, you expect crazy. tax accountants. You expect guys who work at a uh, deli uh, to be doing neck exercises to make yes. sure their chin is better? A hundred percent, Danny. And in fact, they should all shave their heads and put Vaseline on their heads because that was Mayweather's tactic. Once mm. you have a shaved head and you put Vaseline on it, guess what? Punches slip right off. Everybody's got to be Butter. shaved and lubed. Yes, <laughs> at all times. And guess what? Knockout game's not going to be that effective. Leo, so these guys were asking for is what you're saying. Danny, if you're going around... This is the guy he punched. Shoulder down. Oh, what? Unshaved head with no Vaseline. <laughs> You bitch, your ass, you're asking to get knocked out. <laughs> but they just want to make it home to watch some television. They don't want to get cold cocked. Yeah, I'm sure they don't, but you better put your <laughs> fucking shoulder up or else you're going to be, buddy. People, we we think this is horrible. We're joking. Yes, we're, we're joking. We're joking. It's, we're joking. It, it's, this is it's so fucking fucked up. terrifying, man. And, but it is going to make me pay attention more in public at 100%. You got to be we aware go. of your surroundings. Here's man. a shot. Uh, you got to be aware of your surroundings. Here's a shot to show there's no loyalty between races. This is a black man hitting, it looks like a black child, which is really disgusting. Oh, it actually looks like two black kids. Really, really disgusting. It's gang activity, correct? The, I don't know, man. I just, the idea that. It, this guy did it. This guy knocked somebody yeah, out. The, Motherfucker. Is that eyes. Spike Lee? Dude, Spike Lee <laughs> knocked somebody out in a knockout game? Do the right Spike thing, Spike Lee's bro. a menace. Do the right This guy looks like he runs a Minecraft YouTube channel. <laughs> Listen, dude, I just... Dude, all these guys, you're going to go to jail for years, dude. Getting the knockout games... Dude, that's a hundred percent. That's assault and battery. You're no, going to jail. Who's you got released. Okay, this guy got No hit. bill. You got released. That guy can take it like a champ, dude. Good job, buddy. Whoever that is. He looks like he's got a shaved head. Dude, that's a lot of a lot of Latinos got fucking clocked. Dude. That's one yeah, Latino and is, another one down there. A lot of the old clips you saw, you know, this we're really diversifying in corporate America and colleges and entertainment. It really warms the heart to see that diversification is happening in the knockout game too. You gotta be proud of that. Because <laughs> we've got, yeah, Asian perpetrators, Mexican perpetrators, black mm -hmm. perpetrators. I'd like to women, see women, I'd like to see, women, first and foremost. I'd like to see a lot of things get a little bit more diversified. For example, would you like to see a trans knockout artist? Oh my God, that would make me so happy. <laughs> a trans knockout gamer. A, tra I think a trans already... non binary knockout gamer would be great. You know? <laughs> what else has been changing, Leo? I don't know. It'd be good to, I mean, I was just going to go back to the black man. I think it, maybe I'd like to see them start fencing more, Danny. I'd like to see the black man start fencing. <laughs> I bet that one of the best fencers of all time is a black dude. We should look that up. Can it's we funny. look it up? Can we a lot of people talk shit about the way black people fencers? swim, but one of the fastest 50 meter freeze of all time is a half black man. So he is technically 
one of the fastest f- f- swimmers of all time. It's dude. It's a black guy. A Damn it! The best blood, fencer right? in the world's single black. Drop. How did I know that? Greatest male well, fencer. How did I fucking know Because they're that. the best, dude. Oh, I know. At sports in general, dude. It's and he dresses like a black. The guy best black. The best hitter of all time. If you don't say is Barry Bonds, you're an idiot. I don't care if you did roids. Yeah. He's the best hitter of all time. Period. That's yeah. why. Absolutely, on the whole, black people have lower socioeconomic status in America. Mm-hmm. But, dude, at the top, the blacks fucking run shit, man. Look Music, guy, comedy, sports. Who can touch black people? Dude, who I don't know how they... Them? It's crazy because, you know, I'm sure you get a point by just fucking hitting the, uh, you know... It, dude, it's trickled down into fencing. Yeah, yeah How much more can you dominate a sport than to be the best fencer, too? It's crazy. But a lot of people say, Danny, that, you know... That's kind of superficial because it's not real ownership. You know what I mean? It might be financial wealth, but do what do they really own on a bigger level? Like, do they own any of these? What does Dr. Dre own? What does P. Diddy own? Sure, billionaire. Sure, they own some. Yeah, there's a lot of, and I'm proud of my people. What is what do Austin and Dino own? That's a good point. What point. I'm just saying that's their. That's one of their arguments. It's like, yo, it's like. Well, what do you consider ownership? If P. Diddy and Dr. Dre don't own stuff, what's ownership? Does P. Diddy have his own label? Yeah, he does, right? Yeah, he I does. Know. He does have his label. It's, a, it's rock, uh, whatever. He's pretty, high, high, he's pretty high up there. Those are those are kind of rare, though. That's, there's not that many of those. I, I Whereas think you, every I think you other, other list one. Of billionaires, there are, like, I think there's probably white people and then black people are the second most common race on the list of billionaires. There's a ton. No, nah, what about Pretty Chinese, sure bro? Jewish, white. Well, white and Jewish, I consider the one thing. We can look oh, it okay. up, though, but it's pretty fucking insane. It's like Rihanna, P. Diddy, Kanye, Dr. Dre. Um, I'm probably missing some other moguls in there. I mean, Kevin Hart, guys like that, probably not a billionaire, but there are some rich. No, they're very rich. Like Michael Jordan. Those guys are half a bell level. Yeah, no, dude, I, trust me. I get it, dude. I, well, I, who owns every bank, though? Jews. Um, well, I or mean, we'll JP, change it. JP Morgan, dude. The fucking we'll Morgans were all uh, Protestants. I don't know if it's all Jews. Who owns all the shoe brands? Does Michael Jordan Does, and, uh, and fucking Kanye? Do they? They got some ownership of oh, shoe yeah, brands. Oh yeah, dude. Why would I? <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> like, no, dude. I mean, I get <laughs> your premise is totally right, dude. Like, yo, who asked about from? shoes I, of all things? Yeah, that was bad. I should have said like, who's got the most? Who owns all the hip hop labels, dog? <laughs> Fucking, who owns all the malt liquor companies? That's probably <laughs> white people, actually. But yeah, um, Asian, probably. But, no, yeah. But, dude, no, I fucking get it. Like, black people have more debt on average. They're much less likely to go to college. Dude, on the whole, if you take a survey, totally agree with you. But I was just saying, like, it is impressive. I'm, I'm not making any statement about, like, the state of black people, really. I'm just saying it's impressive how much black motherfuckers dominate, like, the most important entertainments arts in our country that's like, yeah it's definitely completely cool, dominate them it's hella cool man it's, it's sweet cool. i mean it's like uh like white people and black people are fucking like i don't know like fucking back to back with a pair of pistols fucking shooting motherfuckers when it comes to comedy oh uh, yeah and fucking I, I'm, I'm struggling where's leo right now i feel uncomfortable he's thinking i've gotten boom. way too deep into a conversation about race dude i'm a deep guy we get deep man yeah yeah what do you want to talk about super deep right now super deep hmm Anything. Did y'all hear what happened to Trey? I don't believe it's true. I, I, oh, so. I, don't think, I, I don't think it's real either. I don't, I, don't bl- I don't buy it for a second. Whoa, really? You don't yeah, buy it? Because here's why. I think he's alive too. I think that kid's alive. I, and I like that kid. So this is no yeah, hate. Yeah, at all. No disrespect, but I think you're alive, Trey. Shout out to you, buddy. Here's why, dude. I, I tried to Google that multiple times. No results came up. And yeah, you, I did that too. And do you know how quickly a, a, any him. kind of press would, first of all, they would get an erection when they read about it because mm-hmm. they would know how many clicks that would generate, and mm-hmm. then it would be all over the news cycle. Dude, everybody wants to read about a YouTuber who had a prank go wrong and got hurt. Everybody wants to hear about that because everybody hates YouTubers in society. That's a good I point. shouldn't be so certain because obviously that kid was a really nice kid. And if anything did happen, that, that fucking is tragic and yes. it's terrible. I just need to see some sort of proof. I saw his filmer or whoever's account of what happened. Yeah, he says he has control of its account. And that was, it, it was either that guy's a sociopath or he's the worst actor of all time. Yeah, I, I, mean, I messaged him something nice and they like just left me on red. So I, I, think, he's, I think he's alive. Yeah, I, and it, it, I mean, the kid showed 
showed up in whiteface with a backpack full of ferrets at our comedy show. <laughs> he did. So it doesn't seem like a stunt is beyond him. And he just kind of a uh, that kind of son of a bitch that pull this kind of shenanigans. For yeah, sure. and I liked him. And if he did, yeah, yeah, if I he like did fake too. his own death, I think that's funny. I like that. I hope he grows. But I, if, if he's if he's dead, if there is a, I think it's a small percent chance. But if he is dead, I apologize. Yeah, he yeah, did it so people too. like Austin would share the story. Mm. Now, well, usually when when you something like that happens, like there are there's the the memorial service like. Yeah. Within a yeah. week. Yeah, within a week or two. There's never, it's never. Well, they posted another thing on their story that they were doing a, a they did a candlelit vigil in Inglewood. Yeah, but anybody oh, can do a candlelit yeah. vigil. Yeah, I know. It was like his friends or whatever on his Instagram, like the people in control of it. Yeah, it's yeah, how many people sure. were there? I don't know. I didn't go. I was there a video of it? They just posted a picture of like a sign they made with some pictures of him okay, and frames yeah. and then a bunch of candles. So this is all shit that could be so easily faked. I'm yeah, that's what I'm saying. I was just adding on to the, the an update. I hopefully they did that where uh, El Diablo got smoked. I bet you he goes to the funeral and then he pops out. <laughs> was it out Compton and pops. or was it? Oh, it was in Inglewood. Inglewood is where he apparently got stabbed. Who's that? El Diablo? Yeah, Sorry. we don't speak of him. Stop. Sorry. Mudflap, quit talking about El Diablo, dude. Mm -hmm. Be sensitive, mm -hmm. dude. We got a random guy in the parking lot to say some bitch. It was nice. That was nice. That was kind of unique as hell. So I should, I should not go for a big some bitch right now. My throat's a little sore. Blow everybody out of the water. You will? No, you would. I Mine's think, good, huh? Yeah, you, you got a real song bitch on you. Thank you. Now, we got Mudflap and we got Dino here. And if they don't wrestle at some point, for this podcast, I've been I don't looking, know I've been looking at that hot ass all day. I don't know what I'm going to do. <laughs> I think Dino I mean? should try to stand him. on his big belly. That would be interesting. You think he could? How much do you weigh, Dino? Like 130 pounds? Yeah, 130. Really? 130? Yeah, That's embarrassing. How about we do this? How about we do the airplane? <laughs> the airplane? So he has to airplane. Like They have to be like across, though. Dino, I, have to, I want him across. So he's balancing yeah. on the belly. Mudflap, no, I want Mudflap sure. to lay on his back with his feet in the air, holding Dino's hands, suspending Dino up. <laughs> that I'm sounds actually, great. A little acro yoga. A little I, acro yoga. I'm Very actually romantic. down to try it. Very Fuck it. Let's romantic. do it. If, want, if Dino's down, let's do it. Let's get some let's acro go. yoga going. Oh, um, acro yoga time. I wasn't listening. Is it, Croc, you it's gay. Yeah, yeah, don't worry about it. It's not really gay, dude. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's not gay at all. It's only, it, take your socks off. It's not gay if your socks <laughs> are on. <laughs> Where are you going? Is this too much for you, King? Oh, you're holding the action cap. Yeah, yeah, this looks good. This is this is a good time. We need a we need a good uh well it was some slapstick from time to time. Yeah, absolutely. It'll be a funny image. Funny image for me, funny image for the viewers. If you're not watching if you're listening, we'll describe Danny, you can describe it or I'll describe it. Well the whiskey's kicking. Okay, a skinny guy is next to a fat guy. Okay, be a fat guy's drunk. I would like you to be shooting a double. Oh my god. He lifted Dino up like nothing. Dino is his his nose is inches from Mudflap's ass crack. How does it smell, Dino? Oh no. Take a big whiff, Dino. Okay, he's going around. Hold on tight to those pants and do not let Dino fall on his head. He might get paralyzed. Dino's hands are on the ground. He's trying to escape. He's a mouse escaping the clutches of a cat. Get down there. Let's do an acro yoga. You just guys, you did not do anything we wanted you to do. All right, li Mudflap, lie down flat on the ground. I said I didn't hear. I was retarded for a second. Flat on the ground. Flat a lot on longer the ground. than that. This is interesting. All right. And now Dino has to plank. <laughs> or we could do that acro yoga shit. But I'm not planking on him. That's gay. Plank on Why is that gay? Yeah, forget the acro <laughs> yoga, right? Yeah. Let's get rid of the legs and heads. Yeah, because I don't. Plank right. him, dude. Hey. Oh, nice. Uh, oh. Right, mud flap. It's an involuntary plank. Get him, mud. <laughs> Dude, just get catch him, him. Just get him, mud flap. Go catch him. <laughs> Fucking take his clothes just off. Oh, damn. He went outside, this motherfucker. Dino will go to the ends of the Ooh. earth to avoid anything that could be homoerotic. It's true. Dino is he's running down the street. It's Danny, if you had Danny Duncan money, would you pay the hottest uh, transsexual woman in the world that would? I think she'd look like a woman. Right? Oh, yeah. They're definitely smoking hot. That, like, girls. you couldn't really tell up close? For sure, yeah. And then, then have her do, like, have Dino just really go to town. He was going to be, he wanted to make out with the last OnlyFans girl we saw. Yeah, absolutely. That would be uh, great. I think it would take a lot less than Danny Duncan money. Because I think a lot of trans women would probably love to fuck Dino. Mm -hmm. And we just got to get one who's either uh, without morals or mm -hmm. not sober. Mm -hmm. We get her in here and we just be like, hey, pretend you're a chick. Done. And we get Dino drunk beforehand. Mm -hmm. And. Before he knows what hit him, he's getting fucked up the ass. Right. By a, to quote Lizard King, a sister mister. A, a sister mister. 
Uh, listen, I've tried. If you th- you don't think I've been working hard to find a tranny, transsexual woman, sorry. I think transgender is the proper a transgender. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't think I've been working hard to find a transgender, the original bit was I asked a, a, a very uh, attractive actually, transsexual. Actually, I think, I think she-male is the proper term. I asked a very attractive she-male. That, that used boy. to be what all the porn was labeled yeah, as. she-male. She-male. Right. Okay, so it was a, a transgender woman that I asked her if she would make out with Fan Jerry on the podcast and then go directly into her surgery <laughs> right after talking to Fan Jerry. <laughs> or sorry, making out with Fan Jerry. But she said that that it goes with the stereotype that transsexual women are male. So therefore, she would not do that because that's not funny. Because, you know, it, it, you know, we're saying we're saying that Fan Jerry made out with a man. That is the joke. It's funny still. It's hilarious. It's fucking hilarious. Yeah. But apparently we can't say that. Yeah. Well, I'm sure there are some. I'm sure we can find a transgender. Oh, we're going to we're going to we'll think that's funny. Uh, we have a one. Uh, I've been working on her with our boy, Asian Andy. He has a friend that is a transgender woman. Asian. Uh, no, mm. but she wants to do a dick measuring contest with everyone. Wow. Yeah. She probably has a honker, huh? Probably, dude. <sighs> then she sent me pictures of guys with small dicks that she that pay her money. How about on how small OnlyFans? Were they? Mm, they were about three inches. There was a guy with <laughs> a ruler. Yeah, this guy with, had a hard penis in his hand like this, holding it. Why was, a ruler. Why were you exchanging photos in such a manner? Well, Danny, I, sometimes I'm like you, you sent a cockpit to this individual, didn't you? No, I didn't. It, where is it? Was in a group chat with Asian Andy, and Asian Andy knew what Can to I say. say yeah, I really, see. my self esteem's low right now. I would have loved to see a guy with a three inch right, heartbeat. Uh, King Croc, you want to see this too? I, I know because hopefully I have it. I, I might no, have been dis- it might have been one of those disappearing. I think it was a disappearing photo. Likely story. Well, Likely I'm story from saying. a guy who was sending dick pics to a transgender. I was not sending dick pics to a transgender woman, Danny. Stop. Sounds like you were. Listen, you know who I am? There's I'm no a show. guy that goes out with the clients for the enterprise, and I whine and I dine them in uh-huh. order to get them to come on the and show. And you suck and you fuck them? I don't suck and fuck them. You tuck your nuts and pretend you're a lady? I don't tuck my nuts and pretend I'm a lady, Do buddy. you not? No. It's unbelievable you'd say such a thing. <laughs> can't believe that you'd say such a thing. It's fucked up. Let's see. Yes, Lena Love. Here she is. Nope, they're all disappearing photos. Uh, I'm sorry. Leo's direct conversation with Lena Love. There is not a scrap of evidence what was said. It's funny how quickly it went from like just average conversation to big time. And so, so Asian Andy's like, you know, come on, you know, to the show and stuff. And I'm like, uh, you know, when are you coming on the show? I won't be in Cali till October. I'm like, all right, perfect. And then she just goes, Leo, I'm working doing my cam show. I'm curious. Are you small like this? And just sends me a small cock. And you said, and I go, ha, 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 no, I am not. I actually, def- no, I said, no, I'm not. Well, you see you lied. And then she goes, and then she sent me another photo. And then I said, yes, I'm sure. Uh, and then, uh, that's what, just what a trans that? person you goading you into the sending them a cockpit. I hope it was an, uh, I said, yes, I'm sure with a winky face. The fuck was I? I hope it wasn't. Is that uh, my hotel? Jesus I'm going to give her a follow right now, though, just in case. You know what I mean? We got to get her on the fucking pod. It looks like I, I did some good work here. How many of her photos did you like? I didn't like any of them yet. Oh, I like a couple right now. What do you think, though? You think Van Jerry would fall for it? <laughs> I'm sure. Fall for it like it's a trap. I love it. Probably. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I love how it's just Fan Jerry is the automatic person we're going for. Oh, here. yeah, of course. You don't think, <laughs> wouldn't it be the best with Fan Jerry? Who else would be funny to pull that move on? <laughs> Fan Jerry would be the best. <laughs> it would be the best by far to Fan pull, Jerry will definitely, pull it on Fan Jerry. He will definitely go for it. Yeah. <laughs> and then right after, he'd probably say something kind of positive about it. Like, oh, you will. Uh, yeah, he'll, dude, man or woman, this is as good as Fan Jerry's going to do for a little while. <laughs> yeah, dude. I think she would be a lovely conquest for Jerry. Absolutely. And I think after, I think uh, she's verified, huh? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I think you get verified just for being transsexual. I'm pretty sure. Really? Yeah. No, yeah. I'm kidding, There's Danny. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I'm kidding, but listen to this. I have this pesky little thing off right Danny, now. listen to this. <laughs> I'm working on something big right now with Instagram. That's not big, but Judge has a lifetime buddy. Like, from, I wouldn't known him since he was five. It just got a job. At Instagram. Janitor. I hope it's, I hope anything, whatever it is, he needs to the guy, he needs to get to the shady guy. It's guaranteed it's going to be like a techie Armenian. I can tell him right now. I'd be like, just look out for the Armenian and ask him 
about the shady underground world of getting people verified. Because mm -hmm. how awesome would it be if everyone had to come to me and you to get verified? Wouldn't wouldn't that be the best? Oh, you want to be verified? Well, you're gonna have to come on the Leo and Danny show. And, uh -huh. It's a talent show today, so uh, show uh -huh. some talent. And if we think you have talent, maybe we'll get you verified. Uh -huh. It's going to be five grand either way, twenty five hundred each. Yeah. No, it used to be. I mean, basically, the way to do it was just like if you don't get if you don't not on a television show or you have five articles or you get drafted to the NBA or some shit. If you wanted to get verified, you would have to go and pay some guy like two to five thousand dollars, and he would go run it through Instagram. Right? Interesting. How quickly do you think it would take for you to abuse your power if you, you get a could offer blue checks to, to all the, the women of Los Angeles with a thousand followers who want to make it as an influencer? Oh my God. I'd be, you can call me Harvey Detavio's team, baby. <laughs> 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 and guess what? I ain't got no micro. So it's going to be a lot worse. You don't have an egg shaped micro? <laughs> yeah. oh it's going to be a nice Italian cock, baby. You'd still be coming in ficus. Oh, you bet your ass, dude. <laughs> would you, um, what were some other stories? Would you, would you fucking come out of a, a movie set trailer with a shrimp cocktail in one hand and violently masturbating with the other? <laughs> that was another guy. Who was that? That was like a, the X-Men director or some shit. That was, somebody made a bit about it. It might have been Bill Burr, but yeah, a oh, guy dude. chased a girl around a yeah. movie set with a shrimp cocktail while masturbating. Mm -hmm. that, that would be Leo if he could verify. Sex, who the fuck was that? It wasn't Harvey Weinstein. He didn't do that. Harvey would just like, yeah, I don't know. It was some creepy shit, man. In his Can office. we pull up Harvey's accusations to end on? I really was not involved in the news or politics really when this came out so i didn't read i mean now i feel like i could spend an afternoon just getting stoned and reading about the weinstein accusations yeah we also we were talking about how i guess it's not a good time to bring it up but how, how big 87 accusers yeah dude 87 accusers bro it was going to town. He would like a lot of them like wouldn't give him a blowjob. And those are the ones that, you know, talk about it. Because I think the ones that blew him or a lot of them, because, yeah, Famous don't talk rich. about it now. Yeah, they don't talk about it now. But mm. these are the ones that he tried, you know, like, look, number one, Amber Anderson, an actress from an actress known for the Riot Club, posted to Instagram on October 16th that Weinstein coerced her into a private meeting. He behaved inappropriately and propositioned a personal relationship to further my career whilst bragging about other actresses he had helped in a similar way she wrote he tried to take my hand and put it in his lap which is when i managed to leave the room it's pretty bullshit sh it's pretty shady but then it gets worse out here English, uh, oh yeah worse. oh yeah right away weinstein raped her in her home in the late 1980s jesus christ How'd he get in? maybe dude probably man a this guy's a sick fuck dude asia argento an italian actress model and director told a new yorker that in 1987 when she was 21 weinstein asked for a massage and forcibly performed oral sex on her he ate her pussy by force hold on hold on hold on hold on that what? was asia argento you just read you know hot. who she is right which one who's that? asian no she's the she's starter famous, of me too dude starter of me too not only but she also raped a child she fucked a 17 year old yeah. guy yeah he was 15. oh wow he was 15, he was 15? 15. i read it was he was 17 no nah, he was 15 bro she was also and with she's our appropriating boy. Asian culture. She was with our bullshit. boy. You, you all, might, you all will remember yeah. her from the Triple X movie, movie, which she did a fantastic oh, job in. Anthony. I just want to give her. A, first of all, I just want to say whatever Asia Argento did to the seventeen-year-old, she did a great job in the Triple X movie with sure, Vin mean, Diesel. I'd yeah. bang her out, sure, but yeah, fucking hypocrisy. I mean, then again, I mean, let's be honest, getting a. Uh, Oral raped is worse than giving a 15-year-old the best night of his life. But still, those who live in sure, glass sure. houses, right? Mm -hmm. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, I mean, it's yeah. still not cool. It is we're all reading as if the audience can read. <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah, I'm uh, sorry. <laughs> uh, 58. It's stuff, fascinating. Man. We're drawn to it. Yeah. Okay, uh, Rosanna Arquette told the New Yorker she rebuffed an early 1990s advance from Weinstein, saying he asked for a massage while wearing only a bathrobe. She says the producer told her she was making a big mistake by rejecting him and claims he has made things very difficult for her for years. Um, Kid is an actress director. Jessica Barth. Barth. 
The 37-year-old actress from the TED Films told The New Yorker Weinstein invited her to a business meeting at her Beverly Hills hotel room after the 2011 Golden Globes. Barth later recalls he had champagne waiting and alternated between offering to cast her in a film and demanding a naked massage. <laughs> she claims that when she moved towards the door to leave, Weinstein lashed out saying that she needs to lose weight to compete with Mila Kunis. What? It's like comical. It's like comical. What a sick bastard. Don't go up to his hotel room. Though. Don't go, Ladies, like, I don't know if you, uh, if any ladies are listening to a pod, I know that I might get in trouble for saying this, but just like if a if a fucking fat, ugly, powerful motherfucker invites you to his hotel room. So if I invite just, you to your hotel room, don't come. Yes. If Mudflap <laughs> sa- has if Mud if you are the girl that runs Mudflap's fucking coffee, what it, it, maybe his uh, his Shop coffee Mudflap distribution? Coffee yeah, his coffee distribution. You have a handsome salary. You know, you're working for Mudflap Coffee Company. If Mudflap goes, hey, some bitch, oh, I'd like to see you in my office. We got to discuss. What about girl. the hotel room at the Beverly Hills yeah. Hotel? Don't go up. I slipped a 20 and a bag of coffee over the counter for a nice room. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, man. I did that today, buddy. That's my shit. Jessica, listen, I want to talk. I want to talk about business in my room. Uh, oh, by the way, you need to lose weight if you want to compete with the barista Chelsea. <laughs> so. Yeah, Harvey Weinstein's a fucking fat ass. How dare he? Dude. With a micro, dude. Yeah. yeah. Really That's so fucked. Well, I mean, every 60 pounds. Do you think if Ronaldo yeah, dude, nah, was... Do you him, think dude. if Cristiano Ronaldo was the head of a studio and had done all of these things, do you think any of the women would have said anything? Nowadays, yes. Nowadays, absolutely. There are some chick who's so fucking brainwashed into woke culture that she would get off more to the idea of getting retweets on Twitter than she would on the idea of Ronaldo's cock. Mm. But I was telling you this yesterday. We should talk about the lead singer of Arcade Fire just got me too. That's crazy. Oh, shit. You know the band Arcade Fire? No. I used to love them when I was uh, younger. They're one of the most critically acclaimed and commercially successful art rock bands, meaning they got like a chick lead singer who plays a violin, a dude's running around with a banjo and a guy's got a drum that goes boom, 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 boom. You know, one of those, those hip bands where like the lead singer could be straight or it could be gay. You don't know. Well, it turns out he's straight. He's married to one of the other women in the band or a woman in the band. And the two of them are the principal songwriters together. They've been together since the band was together, I think, in the early 2000s. Well, recently he started getting wasted, hopping on the Arcade Fire official Instagram account and getting shady. Wow. Slipping into fans' DMs like, hey, it's me, the lead singer. You want to F, LOL? Wow. That was actually a screenshot recovered by the LA Times. Really? Damn. <laughs> I made up that sentence, he said. Oh. <laughs> but... He started banging chicks, one of whom identified as binary, and it was uh, non-binary, and it was very brave of the journalist to use the uh, they pronouns the whole time in the article. That probably wasn't confusing at all. Yeah, it was. I was like, "What? Multiple but what, are the, uh, what are the what are the 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 accusations? They are like the most non-accusations ever. The okay. accusations are basically that." He was being unfaithful, and I and I kind of wanted to fuck him more, but he didn't text me on the road. What about the sexual assault one? Oh what God. the hell? Let's How see. could that be? Yeah, let's read this. Go down. So his that? name is Wynn Butler. Mm-hmm. Good guy. One of my favorite songs is uh, Neighborhoods 1, Tunnels. Interview with the alleged victims. Uh, Butler began. They were fans and gradually progressed to their boundaries being ignored. To me, it was just another creepy old guy. And to her, it was her hero, a friend of one of the accusers, told Pitchfork. Pitchfork's like the most liberal <clears throat> rag, too. Describing a night they were out with Butler. Uh, another person, dubbed Sarah, described being pushed to have video sex with the musician. <clears throat> I did everything because it was him. I remember being so nervous and so ashamed that I did it. He used me, basically, as his personal therapist and an easy way to get sex over the phone. So, you would go back what? up, go back up. So I, I remember being nervous and ashamed, but I did everything because it was a guy in a band I like. So you were attracted to him, yeah. and therefore you did it, and then afterwards you were ashamed, and USA now Today. he did something wrong? Fuck USA Today, man. This is, this it's, is what, it's Pitchfork, I think. Well, no, USA they, Today is, is the article. Is okay, I thought but, Pitchfork broke the story. Oh, well, maybe, but they're just like Fuck retweeting it. But what I'm saying is like, where's the assault accusation, though? That's down here. He, they said he groped one girl, but uh, that one was clearly 
I want attention yeah. from fucking Pitchfork because I saw other girls came out against this guy. He used his position to get to me. I did it because it was him. You have sex with any guy because it's quote unquote him. You don't have sex with a guy who has no attributes you find attractive. Right. Maybe he's not a multi-platinum Grammy award winner, but he's cute. You find his personality somewhat appealing. You're fucking him because he's him. Right. It's BS, man. But they still posted this, and they're proud of it. They haven't taken that down. The good news is his wife wow. said she actually released an amazingly supportive statement, and she's standing by him. Oh, that's Which, awesome. yeah. if she's standing by him, I mean, that would have been the nightmare scenario. His wife, who's his songwriting partner, leaves the band. But Oh, shit. She's in the band with him. Yeah, dude. She's got yeah. some jams, too. Fucking uh, Mountains Beyond Mountains, Sprawl number two. You know that song, King Rock? Nah, I'm going to look it up. It's like that. You down? <laughs> ah, let me hear some more. <laughs> <laughs> uh, one second. <laughs> Is uh, Marilyn Manson going to jail? Oh, what happened with Marilyn? Let's Manson, check out Marilyn. Dude. While we're yeah, on- look up Marilyn Manson. And I thought he was <laughs> trans. Is he trans? Or no, he dude, just he just clicked these are, Yeah, go to the next one. Where's Marilyn? I actually back fucking Marilyn. These Manson. are like, the, what if they oh, made trading cool. cards for the biggest Me Too guys of all time? Like <laughs> the biggest sex offenders. Trading cards. Harvey the, Weinstein would be the fucking gold star. That would oh, be yeah. the top Double card. That, that that would gold, be, the Harvey Weinstein gold card. That would be the uh, <laughs> the Babe Ruth rookie mm-hmm. card or whatever. Yeah, exactly. Let's, uh, let's see what Manson did. Because I... Always liked Marilyn Manson, but it doesn't entirely surprise me he what got me too. Yeah, yeah, there we go. God, dude, big imagine fan, getting yeah. one of these made about you. A timeline of abuse. Jesus. Rose Christ. McGowan Rose hit McGowan. one. When was this? 2022? I mean, she's kind of hot, though, huh? Uh, yeah, this one is from March 25th. Let's see what happened. So much text. I'm here to expose this. Can we play the video, maybe? Yeah. And again, I am proud, proud of these women and anybody who stands against an abuser. Actress Rose McGowan is calling out the music industry for protecting predators, breaking her silence on the under fire shock rock veteran Marilyn Manson. In a February 1st social post, McGowan praises fellow actress Evan Rachel Wood and other victims who speak out against their abusers and for the first time addresses the behavior of Manson, real name Brian Warder, whom she dated from 1997 to 2001 and was briefly engaged to. And I'm also here to say to the Hollywood cult leaders that have employed him and sanctioned him and Interscope Records and Sony was with him during the Evan period. You know you are accomplices. Earlier this week on Instagram, Wood called out Manson by name for horrifically abusing her for years, starting when she was a teenager. Other women have since come forward and identified the rocker as their abuser as well. He looks prompting so shady. Loma Vista reporting <laughs> and TVA <laughs> to promptly cut ties with him. Meanwhile, dope, California though. Senator Susan Rubio is calling on the U.S. Department of Justice <laughs> and the FBI to investigate the allegations. Manson has also posted to Instagram denying Wood's claims, calling them horrific distortions of reality to stay updated on this ongoing story head to billboard.com manson's tight he's a guy who'd come on this podcast and we would get along with him Dude, we i get him saw him in concert one time and he was supposed to open for rob zombie he gets up there does like half a song and then just starts like passing out on this podium and then gets escorted off stage. I don't know if he had a, they claimed he had a heat stroke, uh-huh. but I think he did a bunch up, of obviously. fucking drugs, dude. Yeah. And then Rob Zombie just did the whole concert by himself. Dude, Whoa. Marilyn, uh, was it nice to watch that show from backstage with your mom? <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't know that one. Marilyn, dude, he's the fucking man, dude. He goes on the Brett Easton Ellis podcast, one of my favorite authors. Would go on Loveline back in the day. He's a cool guy, but I I don't find it too hard to believe that he did some pretty gnarly shit with chicks. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Look at that guy. He got probably, I think what happens a lot is uh, you get so much vagina that you start experimenting and you just, well, I mean, maybe say, he would just dominate, he put her in cages and well, shit. I mean, they say when you get so much pussy, you start turning out boys. You know, that's what it is. It's just, I mean, when you're just Italian and you got a sugar mama hey, and hey. you DM'd all the pussy in LA, hey. like slowly but surely you turn to rape. 
Sure. Hey, sure. <laughs> parking lots. Being the keyword. Never, dude. <laughs> you gotta ask for consent off the rip. Uh, you should start just saying that straight up. Can't crock to bitches, you know? Saying what? Hey, uh, do I have your consent to kiss you right now? Hmm. I do kind of th- uh, think sometimes, like, yo, can I kiss you right now? Yeah, there we go. Do, that, that would work. Can I kiss you real quick? Yeah. Can I kiss you real quick? <laughs> you should do like a, things you say to a girl, though. No, I've never said it. Though. Girls hate that, real though. Quick, right? Yeah, when you ask her, man. Yeah, best dude. thing yeah, to do true. is I say. Know. It's the eyes. Mm-hmm. It all depends. Distance, I think, well, I, look, just, I'm a master at getting people to kiss people in public yeah. really quickly. And what you do is you say something horrifically tragic happened to you. I said, remember when I said Mudflap's entire family burned out of fire? <laughs> <laughs> the yeah, whole dude. family burned in a fire and she said, it's what? Right. And kissed him. If you so, got game, awesome. you could say anything and still get a kiss. There's no hard and fast rule that you can't I appreciate ask you for, for that kiss. one, Leo. So I'm you, buddy. If you're a pimp, like Leo could absolutely go out and use, can I kiss you real quick? It would just this, this is how Leo would do it. Like, listen, I've been having a really bad week. Uh huh. My father had a stroke, oh. and my mother actually found out that her nephew died in a small plane crash in Peru. Wow. This might be crazy, but can I kiss you real quick? Oh You're yes, you know, so dude. That's hey, he's yeah. right. He's right. Yeah, Leo would absolutely right. be able to do. Right. Yeah. You, you can probably go heart. do that at the Grove tonight. I could do that, and if I do it a couple times, I think it'll work out. <laughs> Leo, we could test it out. It was so funny. We were outside this frat at like fucking two a.m. That was the best, and clearly the energy had been sucked out of the night. Everybody mm-hmm. was going home. There was no shot at mm-hmm. anybody getting any pussy, mm-hmm. even Leo. Mm-hmm. But me and the other guys in the frat talk Leo into running some fucking street meat game. Oh, yeah. It's just Str- girls going home late night, yep. just walking on the sidewalk. You Pitch black some out. game. Pitch black out. Street meat is any girl out after 2 a.m. near bars or alcohol. That's street it's meat. Bad. So it's Leo, is just, Leo is on the sidewalk just while these groups of girls walk by like, what are you girls studying? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what's your major? That one got a laugh from them and the, and the boys. It was but good. It's just impossible to get fucking street pussy, yeah, dude. dude. It's so yeah. hard. That's I, I, dude, there was no way, at, <laughs> even hanging with the boys, like just to get up, like the guys that were our fans at the frat, just to get up and try to get shady with some 19 year old. It, it honestly didn't feel like uh, I could, I couldn't pull it off that night. Yeah, it was funny. Leo Leo went to this frat two nights in a row. Mm-hmm. And I didn't know they went the first night. And when I heard that they went to a frat party where all the guys loved them, I was like, dude, holy fuck, that's awesome. Nico, Did you get pussy, Leo? Nico was adamant about going to this thing. Yeah, and I don't blame him. Fuck. I mean, it was, was awesome. awesome. It was great. No, for- man, I talked to these fans and sure, like some girls recognized me from the batch and whatever, but it was just like, I, I couldn't literally be like, guys, you guys are asking me intimate questions about the videos, but let me just, I'm just going to ditch you now after you granted me entry into your Friday. I'm going to fuck one of your bitches, if that's dude, okay. Dude, I didn't want to be that fucking know, dick, bro, dude. Bro, let them know ahead of couldn't time. Do it. Like, bro, I'll come couldn't through, but like, yo, we could talk for a little bit, but then I'm I'm going in the game. You got to offer me one I'm of your women. The game. Sub me in. Couldn't do it. Dude, do it. it was crazy. Like, I Leo, wish I could have won, bro. Leo told me the first night that there were like these hot chicks, but he couldn't talk to them. And I didn't really mm-hmm. believe him. I was thinking the same thing you were thinking, King oh, yeah. Rock. But then I went the next night. And again, these kids were so fucking cool. But mm-hmm. anywhere you went in that house, you had three sycophants uh, just pitting you against a wall. Yeah. yeah asking yeah, you yeah. about the podcast. And, and I like, love that, advice. too. That attention's yeah, no, fun, too. And, cool. and I said sycophants because it was a funny word. These mm-hmm. kids were just so great. They were but like you had a personal four man escort wherever you went in the <laughs> yeah. house, inches from your body. Right. So I was like, oh, that's why Leo couldn't get any fucking pussy. Yeah, nah, it's just, just you can't. Sense. You can't. Like he would have had to like grab one of them by their face, right? Just, just palm their nose and eyeballs and <laughs> just say, "Get away from me, <laughs> shrimp!" <laughs> and then just swim through more of them to a girl. They're dude. They're no, some of the best fans we've ever met, though. They're great. Oh, man. Awesome. They were awesome. Yeah. They were all awesome. Shout out. Tau Kappa Epsilon. Oh, fuck you. Yeah. Yep. And I guess I think we were, we're nearing the end of the pod here. That was great. That was a great pod. Mufflap, thank you for coming out. Son of a bitch. I'll come out again soon. Still Have the best coffee on the market, bitch. boys. Yep, you know? still. Coffee uh, beans getting closer, but. Yeah. Thank God, Croc, you're out. You're out of jail. This is good. Thanks, man. It feels good to be free. You're bro. free, baby. You're free. Dino, <laughs> you're out in another way. Dino, <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> And uh, Austin, go fuck yourself. (laughs) All right. It's been a great pod, boys. Yes. Yeah, a good one. Subscribe to the Patreon. We'll be having another one. Remember that. Subscribe to our Patreon for a second 
episode every week. I, mean, I gotta tell you, the, the Patreon is where it's at. Like, mm-hmm. if you really want the best stuff from Danny and Leo, mm-hmm. that's where she goes. It's true. I'll tell you what. Like, like for example, the cigar guy, he pranked us one time on her. Mm-hmm. I'll tell you what. That's where you want to see. I forgot you were there for that episode. That was, that was a crazy, crazy that was episode. Crazy. Then he actually did it two weeks later. Yeah. Dude, you got you Whoa. got a lot of episodes with yeah, with uh, old school guys like Cigar Guy on there on the Patreon. So mm-hmm. check those out. Later, guys. Peace.